See, everybody says it's nice. Can I come and visit? I'll be at your house tonight. They tell me it's soft and touching, really smooth. I can hardly wait to feel that pussy, too. You wanna play with pussy all the time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. God, that kind of pussy is a crime. Meow. You say that pussy's clever and so slick. But I think that your pussy's kind of sick. Meow, baby, I wanna see your pussy. Show it to me. Let me see your pussy. Show it to me. Show me your pussy. Show it to me. I wanna pet your pussy. Show it to me. Meow, 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 What's up, everybody? I got all that shit worked out. Yeah, I think we're good. No, that, that's good. Everything's good. What's up? Welcome to the show. What's up, Jack Attack? What's up, everybody? Phew. All right. Uh, I think everything's good to go. Nothing's broke yet, but we're just starting. If you're joining late, check the live thing to make sure you're in the red if you want to keep up. <clears throat> we had the early crew here as usual. Franco Walker was a little late, but Cast Master Joe Russ and Phil in the kitchen were here. Peter Hawkins and Mr. A Cake showed up a little early as well. And it's a Mr. Mouse. What's up, Paul Norm? Good evening to you. Patrick, what's going on? Bobby Yorks. Hi from East Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah, I pronounced that right. Oh, shit. I talked to enough of you biscuit heads enough to know how to, how to pronounce that at this point. Oh, thank you, Captain Beardy. I appreciate that. Uh, hang out for a minute. I'll explain something here uh, after all this good stuff. What's up, Graham Shaw? Andy P? Uh, is Scruff whispering? Uh... No, uh, that's good. All my levels should be good. That's where it's, well, that stays locked. So now everything should be good. I need to finish that song. Do you know that song, Jacques Attac? Uh Might just be you, Andy. Everybody seems like everything's good. Garbled, what's up? Web Devi. Garbled. Oh, yeah, I just said that. Anyway, phew. Ah, there's Liz Edwards, Queen of Fire. So, uh, we'll touch on the fridge a little bit tonight. Uh, let's see. Oh, I gotta get my merch bot thing to join. There we go. Uh, and a toast. Uh, we'll do a quick, to lead into the toast, a quick update on the bridge. Uh, they have been pulling pieces of the Francis Scott Key Bridge out of the water and transporting it, uh, nearby where I work. Uh, however, the flight restriction is a five-mile radius of the bridge, which actually goes over my house. So I can't even fly here. Um, uh -huh. So, uh, anyway, I did pick up a telescopic lens that actually has a cell phone mount for it. So hopefully I'll be able to get some better pictures, maybe a little bit of video or something. And... Uh, what else? What else? Anything? Oh, and yesterday they found another uh, one of the workers that was down there, and they recovered them like overnight and into this morning. So, uh, oh yeah, and I have mice out to feed uh, to feed her towards the end of the stream. That way, if people don't want to see snakes eating mice, then they don't have to. <clears throat> but yes, the the mice are in the fridge. I decided to save them for tonight. But they, uh, so there's three, 
three people left in the rubble. Um, but they are pulling a bunch of pieces out as quick as they can. We had four days of rain, so that didn't work out real well. But they were still uh, able to get some stuff. Am I going to prove that the Earth is flat? No, no. If it was flat, all our alien overlord cats would have knocked everything off. But uh, cheers to uh, everyone affected by this Francis Scott Keybridge, friends, family of those, the workers that went down, and everyone else, including the workers at the dock, at the ports, because apparently it's a ghost town down there. So cheers to everyone affected by that. But progress is being made. All right, Captain Beardy, and I think Mr. Maki is just, I thought doesn't, I think he's just, he might be mad at me because this happens to him every week. But Captain Beardy, what you dealt with today was YouTube introduced something uh, earlier this year or very late last year where if you know someone else is doing a live stream or if you're doing a live stream, like another live stream, or say you have a video premiere and you're doing like a live stream leaving up to it, you can have it set so that when you hit the end button, you put in a stream and boop, and it bounces you right over to that link. And for some reason, and it's not just Clive, I've seen it on other people that use redirect. When Clive hits start, something in YouTube goes and it shoots. It's usually like anywhere between five and 10 people over to my stream. Like it just redirects you right over. And we're kind of getting used to it. So we try to redirect everybody back. Um, no, I did not feel the earthquake, Ron. No, no, I was actually quite surprised when I saw it. Um, but, I mean, I may have been driving. I may have been riding a forklift. Uh, who knows? But it wouldn't have uh, felt much. <clears throat> oh, we'll be getting to that phone call there shortly, uh, Miss Liz. Uh, let's see. Uh, but, yeah, so that weird redirect thing is just a YouTube glitch thing. What's up, Celeste? <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, a lot of people get confused. They're like, Where the, who's this asshole? And I'm, yeah, me. So, but yeah, so if it seems to happen to certain people all the time and certain people randomly, no idea what it, the, the click is, but uh, they're that, that way now, if it, if it starts happening to you now, you'll understand. It's not like some people thought it was me like hacking or shit or something. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hack Google. Let me let me get right on that. <laughs> so a bunch of people did feel the earthquake. <clears throat> yeah, so it uh, seems like the earth is a little uh, busy. They got Taiwan with that 7.4 and just constant fucking like fours and fives and aftershocks. Like it's so bad that the Global Quake channel that I watch, like it has a separate like picture in picture window of just the aftershocks for Taiwan. It's just going crazy over there and then new jersey gets hit and then it got hit again i think there were two a big, uh, uh, there may have been two like a, a big aftershock or something maybe um but uh yeah and then there was uh, like the whole ring of fire is just on fire yes list miss list some of the goofballs have been uh what level is that i forget is that Three months? No, even. Uh, let me let me take a look. I'll I'll figure that out. Because what it does is every time you quote level up, you get like more stuff on your thing. Where the fuck? I'm sorry. Where the French toast? Uh, customize. That's ooh, that's six months. Wow, I've been. Wow, we've been doing this shit for six months. Well, over six months, I guess. Nice. All right. Well, hey, uh, how about that? Uh, a toast to I'm still doing this over six months later. Thanks, everybody. Because most of it's because of you. Ah, uh, yes, Ron. She'll, we'll be feeding her later if you're around. And, of course, we'll have uh, your buddy Ronnie eating later on. So I hear it. See, what's up, Bowden? I hope it stays quiet in Cascadia subduction zone. So I saw that and it made me think of cicadas. Apparently, this year is going to be wicked for cicadas around here. What's up, Raven Bars Repairs? I feel like that was a renewal. Yeah, there's Piano Man. 
Uh, so, let's see. We got about a minute to a woofle. Well, Beefcake's got a treat in his mouth. Um, I mean, he is a little thin right now. But, you know, we're we're working on it. He's going through a regiment. You know, he's got a kind of a more of a fatty diet to try and... Uh, we got to kind of thicken his skin up a little bit first. But if you're new here, that's coming in about 50 minutes with Piano Man Rob playing his first track he ever played. Um, we'll be playing that back, and then we'll be feeding the kitty. Kitty cats. <clears throat> And me and Clive did get a chance to practice and uh, make sure everything works with the new setup. So in two weeks, on April 20th, will be the Super Stoner stream featuring Clive as our guest host or co-host or however you put that. So it'll be like live after Clive with Clive. So it's not really after Clive. It's uh, I'll come up with something dumb. <laughs> uh, it's boob time. And it's also woofle time. All right, let's make sure the camera's working. Looks like it is. It's been a little weird lately. I'm really, like, bummed. It's been a while, and they've not come out with, like, the next version. That's kind, kind of what I'm waiting for. Because <clears throat> I'll probably bring that in here and just use the broke one for work. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. Light it up. There's Freddy. That's pretty good. Almost there, Patrick. And thank everybody, of course. And we'll do one more. Get it a little farther over here, maybe. Wee. Figures, I'm just finally figuring out how to get this consistency of soap not to spill over, and I'm almost out. <laughs> and if you're new, that's Freddy the face hugger in the bottom left. He is my plushy face hugger. He, he shows up every once in a while on the show. Have you not been here before, a uh, Mr. Beardy? I know I've seen your, I feel like I've seen your name, but maybe it was just on Clive. But yeah, that's what you're seeing. Like, that's an LED light. The weird dot over there is uh, something going bad in the camera. That's a face hugger. That's another camera. That's all audio foam, and that's another light, and that thing up there in the corner is the monitor, is one of the monitors. What's up, old Jim? Hey, we, uh, just so you know, old Jim, if you're hanging out late tonight, we'll, we'll be feeding or he may later, because I know that's one of the things you, uh, oh yeah, my hand, my fingers are always cold. I went out and smoked a cigarette before the stream, so, um, the warm up. Because it's a little warm in here with both these computers going. All right, let me just flick it on back. <sighs> Not here, no. Long time. Oh, okay. Well, here, just just so you understand what we're what we're I'm dealing with here when you hear us talking about things getting weird and breaking and over technical. This is two computers worth of monitors, one there and one there and this is my severely over tape over complicated setup for all this that i i built for this it was fun but yeah that's that's uh that's what we're we're dealing with oh and we have new toys that showed up a week and a half ago um uh, on the lego stream you know after we figured out that we can't really agree on background music we had just traffic noise out front going for a while off of my ring cam and uh that was kind of nice cars driving by it was raining at one point which was cool and i was like man i ought to get like bluetooth fucking set up out there well all my bluetooth headsets kind of suck so the company that makes the microphone and the mixer that we've talked about mo moano 
this piece is plugged into the computer, but these are wireless mics that they sell that come with monitor. You can plug monitors into them. You can plug external headphones into them. It has noise reduction built into it. You can either charge it in the case or individually if you want to plug them in. So hopefully, um, I'm going to see if I can set something up where we put this uh, like outside. Or when I'm out and about, they don't sound too bad. They sound almost pretty close to what this microphone sounds like. Let's put that there. And let me show you. You are welcome, Freddy Sodium. We have very giving uh, members. Let me unmute that. How's that? Turn it down. So it's not, I'm hearing an echo. Oh no, it's just the delayed uh, monitor. Wow, that is, I'm gonna turn that volume down because that is just enough of delay that I can't speak. So this, wow, that is really loud. But this is it, obviously we're going to uh, turn it down even more. That's at negative 25. Too loud, my ears. It is a bit loud. Like how? Do, 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 do. All right, that's on the meter. That's showing. Whoop. On the meat. On the meter. That's showing close. That's negative twenty-five. I mean, it is going to sound a little tinny. Um, plus, now that I've turned it down, I can kind of speak at a more normal volume. So I think this, at least in my ear, sounds pretty good. Uh, gain setting on the mic. There is a gain setting on the mic. Or no, no, it's on the receiver. That's right. All right, but anyway... We have something to work with. So, what? There we go. Sorry about that. Now, so anyway, I didn't say much. Yeah, so anyway, we have something to mess with. We have something to work with. Um, and if the audio was weird when I was talking, it's because I was varying the volume of my voice. But having it right next to your neck probably isn't best, so I'll put it on my hat. That's when I was doing this when you couldn't hear me. But I'll put it on my hat. That way it's away from, like, like the low of the base of my throat, I guess. And hopefully that'll help, and that'll keep a very uh, static distance, and then we can play around. But yeah, it does have four levels of boost on the receiver, which I might be able to reach from here. Oh. So here's the receiver. And that's the four levels of... Uh, Right there. I don't know if that's turned up or down. Oh, that's turned all the way up. Holy shit. Okay, I'll, I'll turn it all the way. Or wait a minute. I think it's actually labeled. But you need to be like a human micro. Wow, that really is labeled. Yeah, it was on four. So I just switched it to one for next time. But I figure that might be also useful if I'm like moving around the house and stuff. Oh, but yeah, this is the thing. And it was 60 bucks on sale. Nice little case, charges USB-C, like, I'm, I'm hoping they'll help us out. Maybe that'll even sound a little better uh, once we get back to drone streaming, because if I, because it, it's 
made to hook up to whatever bluetooth anything so that may help with the wind because that also has three levels of noise reduction in it which is great so see how that goes and hopefully we can do a drone stream soon but now i have to resort all of that to uh where, where i can actually go turn the monitor down a little bit there we go thought i was a little loud in my head sexy butts ah uh, sexy butts a donk a donk what's the name of that mic and how much is it this is the well it's that Mau maudo um, I don't know if there's a, oh, there it is. It is the dual wireless microphone system, model number WM, like wireless microphone, 620. And both of those are microphones. It is a, only a mono microphone, which, you know, it's fine. Um, but like it's not like left channel right channel they're both mono microphones but it's two full fucking feature list like i really like this company like and that sounds to me like in my head anyway it sounds a lot better than like i would expect a lav mic to sound for that price especially two because it sounds sort of similar you can tell there's to me there i can tell there's similar processing um to it so oh Oh shit! Hold on. Let me uh, let me see what's up. <clears throat> uh, yes. Hello. No, no. I think you have the wrong number. Would you like to make it the right number? Mm hmm. No. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You wouldn't. No. Okay. Well, well. Well. Thanks for the weed anyway. All right. Thanks. Bye. Cheers, everybody. Doot, doot. Answer that phone. Scruff in space. So how's everyone's weekend so far? Mine's been... Eh, I don't know, I went to the store today. I have a slow leak on my work van, which is anything I'm driving right now. Because <coughs> my Suburban has a leak in the brake line since September. It was getting cold. I'll fix it in a couple months. <coughs> Mr. Eight Takes says, oh, awful. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the rear, the back, back, the, the rear driver's side tire has had a slow leak in it for like three months. Uh, every time I try to put, like, fix a flat in it just to give me a minute, like, the can, both times I tried it, the cans blew up, even though the tire was completely flat, so I just kind of gave up. I just put air in it every day, but hopefully I'll have that sorted out in a week or two, because I'm finally getting over the hump of a bunch of BS at work, so I should be able to take a day off to get that sorted out. <clears throat> yes, Captain Beardy, it is the weekend, and I know how you feel, because I'm kind of how you feel because at the end of the year i usually take a week and a half two weeks off and that by the time you get like to like day nine you're like i have no idea like what even country i'm in much less what time it is especially because i tend to keep all the curtains closed in the house i prefer uh, i prefer indoor controllable light than like sunlight blaring everywhere but i just make sure the cats can get to the windows <clears throat> Leaky boobies, says Red Dwarfer. Um, no leaky boobies for me. Jack attack, boobies in my face. That's, that's not a bad way to be. Any cargo ship captains been smoking in the U.S. this week? Probably not. Because it's funny, everything that, every little thing that happens with a cargo ship or a bridge is now like, Fucking super conspiracy theory bullshit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me take another one of these. All right. Let's see. 
got that covered. Does anybody care about an EGR system? You want to? You actually want to know like a bunch of the info on what they what it's like for for? I can explain that. Then we can talk about. Oh yeah, and as far as Chromebooks and like games and stuff. If you get the new Chromebook Plus, not just a regular Chromebook, but the new Chromebook Plus has a minimum, um, like, spec on it. And part of that is so that it, instead of going into, like, like my regular Chromebook, you have to go into Linux mode. Or you have to run it VM, like, and it's kind of limited in what you can do in the VM box. But in the Chromebook Pluses, it is seamlessly in and out of Linux. So when you install Steam, you're installing Steam on Linux, and you can play a lot of games on the Chromebook Plus. Like, I got the cheap uh, Acer 515 Chromebook Plus, and, like, I was playing uh, Portal. Uh, I played Portal on it. Some of the older Dooms, like, it, they were pretty good if you get the Chromebook Pluses. And I found uh, I found that on sale for, like, 270 bucks. What was it? Uh, three, four months ago or something like that? Fly my Chromebook to work. I, I probably can't fly it to work. Six o'clock, top of the hour toast while it's in my hand. Uh, cheers, everybody that's hanging out. Appreciate it. And I guess I'll uh, tell you all about EGR valves here in a second. So EGR valve, exhaust gas recirculation. We got that. Um is for emissions. Um, it does not run all the time in your engine. It typically is only used in low power modes, like when you're in idle or you're in cruise mode on the highway or you know, you're know you in running a pretty solid steady speed and the vehicle knows you do not need like power. You just need to coast. So what it does is like, so say... So, well, so what it does is when requested or called for, it will recirculate exhaust gas back into your intake manifold to mix up with the air fuel mixture. And the point of that is, is like, say this is your cylinder and like, I hear me do it like this. Say this is your cylinder and the piston's going doot, 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 doot. So when it drops, it sucks in that much air fuel ratio and then it compresses it and it sparks and then it blows it back down. So what the EGR does is as it's dropping and it's getting mixed into the intake, instead of, you know, having that much air fuel, you may have that much air fuel and like that much EGR, like gas that got mixed in. So basically all it does, is it's, it's almost like a, a gaseous filler. It just takes up space in the combustion chamber so that there's less fire and less air fuel pulled in because you don't need that power. Um, and a lot of people will say, well, how is, you know, putting 1500 degree exhaust gas into your intake going to make it run cooler? Because the combustion temperature, since there's a smaller fire now that runs cooler, helps everything kind of cool off a little bit. You can actually run leaner, a little bit leaner as well. Like a lot of cruise mode cars will run like 15 or 16 uh, air fuel ratio when they're even in EGR mode. Um, <clears throat> the early system for vacuum controlled because typically if you're idling or in cruise mode your vacuum has more uh, vacuum in it because your throttle plate is closed so they were set up to um, pretty much just open whatever with a vacuum solenoid that was just controlled by the vacuum in your engine and whatever spring was in the EGR valve um, that was kind of that was OBD1 that worked but then OBD2 came out and some of the late OBD1s that is a solenoid so the vacuum would open it, but then the solenoid would, would decide if it wanted to just be have it open or closed. Like, say, it, it knew the vacuum was there, but it wanted to close the flow, and then it would close the flow. It was an on-off valve on top of the vacuum. And nowadays, they use stepper motors and the computer that tells it exactly how much. It monitors the, the gas in the, on the oxygen sensor. It monitors the, how much air fuel ratio is in it. And it can use that to guesstimate the temperature of it because it's got all these calculations. So it can see how much EGR is getting put in. 
with all its sensors and thereby it can regulate your emissions and all this other bullshit and it's used on diesels as well problem is with diesels it usually runs through a cooler which has coolant in it and as soon as you get the tiniest little air bubble it just melts right through because there's no coolant to cool the metal as where it's exchanging gas so that's always a pain in the ass and yes as ed has pointed out most vehicles today do not even have an egr valve because they have variable valve timing or variable cam profiling you know however you want to call it so they don't even need to use the exhaust system anymore so primarily on diesels now on it so much gas car gasoline cars all right everybody good hope you learned something Whew. Rob says, I jam my EGR because they slowly cog up the intakes on my M47 engine at Land Rover. Yes, some can, depending on how your uh, engine generally runs, when they clog up, it's just it's basically just the unburnt gas getting a little sticky in there. It, the soot builds up and eventually it just doesn't want to move. Sometimes the stepper motor burns out or sometimes it gets stuck. And if you would have cleaned it, it would have been fine. But if you don't get to it soon enough, then the stepper motor burns out. Frank Nettabetti says diesels are getting into using variable cam timing as well. Good. Yeah, I gotta follow a little bit more of the modern diesel y stuff. Yeah, and most people in old cars, you could lift it and stick a coin in there or like a washer or like a punch out of an electrical box and then close it and just you always you always had full power, but it does affect your gas mileage again because you know, now you're using a full cylinder of air fuel as opposed to, you know, whatever percent. I don't actually know what kind of percentage is they would use in that. Um, I've never actually looked into that, but I mean, it does help. Whew. All right. Wrong mouse. Not you, mouse. <clears throat> Now that uh, Voyager, uh, the vo if you've been following Voyager, you know that uh, it started doing gibberish a few months ago. Uh, well, they finally got it to dump, and they finally went through it, and they figured out that one of the actual chips—it's not one of the—it's not the memory that's necessarily corrupted, but one of the actual chips um, has, seems to have either failed or corrupted. You know, maybe it had a bit flip in the chip itself, so it's hard-coded chip so they can't do stuff with it like they can't fix it like they can the, the onboard memory so they figure in about three months time they should figure out a way to reroute communication and be able to resume uh, receiving science so Delta engine, my EGR went bad and the electronic garbage made by GM fitted a restrictor plate is the cheapest cheapest option and least hassle. Yeah, if it's dependent on how much it pays attention, you can usually get away with that. It's just the newer it gets, the harder it is to fool because the more shit they're monitoring. Or the more they've learned from the previous generations to look for cheaters. As as Cummins diesel about the cheating. And their big ass lawsuit. What was that? One point something billion dollar fine they got for uh, selling uh, diesel def diesel emission defeaters. Mister Phil says, Mister Phil ninety six nine says it's crazy that Voyager is still working. Yeah, they were launched the same year I was born. Like we were, I think we were all launched. I think one, one either one or two, one of them was launched the same. I think it was like within a week or two I was then I was born 46 years ago <clears throat> which was also right about the same time the freaking bridge was built <clears throat> why use an extra part when you can just leave the exhaust valve open for a microsecond longer and allow the piston to pull exhaust back in just enough exactly because it's not necessarily that you're eliminating a part because now you're adding variable timing which can be a little more complicated than a, a stepper motor but i get what you're saying 
It's the overlap that pulls air and fuel at the same time, and the exhaust valve is open as well. And with direct injection, overall temperature drops more and quicker. Direct injection is a mess. I just asked Hyundai about uh, direct injection. Ask how much they enjoy it. <laughs> You remember the law? What? <laughs> we will fail, fail our MOTs in the UK if they see we have deleted the EGR, but it's easy to block a pipe. Yeah. Yeah, the same thing here. They do, uh, generally, they just plug the scanner in and make sure that all your systems are clear and that you don't have any codes and all your uh, built in tests have run and have passed. They'll usually let you go, but if they. For some reason randomly or which they do and then if they have a reason if like if you give them a reason they will and are they are authorized to do a visual inspection of the vehicle if needed and if they're really suspicious then they can go ahead and give you the old school fucking tailpipe test most of the stations still have one left um if they feel they need to uh smell your butt <clears throat> Captain Beardy, if life wasn't complicated, most of us would probably be out of work. Well, we are the only species that pays money to survive, so yeah, less complication would be uh would be fine. Finger in the butt, says Mr. A Cake. No, that's that's if you give them a lot of bad reasons. I was born the same day the Gatling gun was patented, says Top Smoke school i was born i guess not the same exact day but i was born on the same day as uh, george carlin which is pretty cool as far as i'm concerned variable valve timing is just a bit more complicated than an egr system says mr phil yeah a little bit especially if you never change your oil because then the uh or the, the fucking uh, actuators get clogged up because most of them run off of oil pressure. Ruff, have you given any more thought to doing some SDR content? You mean like radio SDR? Uh, sort of, but I have... I have a lot of projects I need to kind of finish first. But uh, I know where my SDR stuff is. I did actually pick it up the other day and go, all right, now I know where it is. Like, I found it. Um, but now I haven't quite done anything more with that yet. <clears throat> That'll probably be a little while, to be honest. Um, although I did think about it with the bridge collapse, but I also have a scanner radio, a handheld scanner radio that, you know, one of these days I'm going to sit down and find the frequencies and see if I can hear anything. My, Rob says, Piano Man says, my exhaust emissions have gotten cleaner each year. I stopped the EGR because the engine is getting cleaned inter well, cleaner internally. I can help <clears throat> with the hotter temperatures somewhat. Mouse took all the EGR bollocks off the engine I put into the diesel motorbike. There's no emissions testing for motorbikes. You had a weird uh, vacuum not uh, EGR, but on my 95 Honda CBR 600, um, it had a weird like throttle delay, vacuum throttle delay thing, where it had an extra spacer on the throttle body with a vacuum solenoid, and I, I and I don't even know where like there's no computer in this thing, but it had a vacuum solenoid that was just like wired to the throttle, and if you were in first gear and you just hit the throttle, it would until you got to 5,000 RPM and then it would like, this thing would open back up. The vacuum solenoid would open back up and give you full throttle. That was a weird thing in there. I mean, I guess it's the anti don't roll your bike thing, but I got rid of that because that was just annoying. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'd never seen that on a bike before, on a motorcycle before. 
Oh, no, it wasn't even like a vacuum advance. Like, you know, that would be messing with the timing. This, like, literally had a physical plate that would come out, like a secondary throttle plate to limit your throttle. See you later, Captain Beardy. Appreciate you hanging out. I want the bar 97 class. Small class. Oh, I'm not sure. No, not an Akira bike. <clears throat> it's kind of a big bike. I was born on the 8th anniversary of North Korea, Korea, Korea withdrawing from the anti-nuclear oh, weapons treaty. Nice. Wow, there's Ed. Thank you, Ed, for gifting 12, or 12, I got 12 stuck in my head, 20 uh, memberships to the gaggle of goofballs. Ah, at Kalar. That's cool. If you haven't seen At Kalar's channel, you should go see At Kalar's channel. Uh, Chipmunk, feel free to post a link if you want. Um, ah, Carrie got one. There's, looks like that's a lot of coming backs. As opposed to reading off all twenty, we'll let the uh, we'll let the broken counter try to sort it out. I even reset that today. I did actually find the reset button for it. And it's still something so i guess uh stream elements is having an issue but thank you ed and welcome back pretty much everybody <clears throat> so yeah that'll be doing its thing <laughs> and every once in a while it'll actually work so just good luck everybody <laughs> we, we've broken that um many like a long time ago and then they we have very giving uh members cheers to uh the very giving members uh, long hair 2012 gaming <clears throat> is that a long hair 12 year old or is that when they got into gaming oh yeah get this oh, bullshit so, someone I work with, who calls themselves a gamer, found out on Tuesday that they'd never played Doom. Any of them. And I'm like, what do you mean you never played Doom? Like, Doom 1, Doom Eternal, Doom 3, 64, like, which, which one? What, what are we talking about here? Because if you don't, if you're new, I'm, I'm a Doom head. Um... <clears throat> he's like no i've never played doom i was like i'm about to call our boss because our boss is an actual you know, like our boss is a gamer he's 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 old head gamer like me like i almost called our boss to have him removed from sight and like i bugged him so much about it that he bought doom one that day fucking loved it and then said he's gonna go ahead and buy doom eternal or the whole doom pack that's um it's like 100 bucks right now and it's every version of doom that uh steam has Yeah, I couldn't believe, like, he's like, really, is this, I was like, you've never heard, like, what, but will it play Doom, like, you, you've never heard, he's like, yeah, I just thought that was just the thing, I'm like, no, nah, man, like, that's some serious shit, like, we take that seriously, if that refrigerator can play Doom, I want to fucking know about it, you know what I mean? Bedbird says, I even have the Doom shotgun and chainsaw that, that get bloodier with more kills in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Nice. I heard that the Doom shotgun was in there. I think Colin said something about that. <laughs> so if you like Doom, do you like Quake? Yeah, yeah I played uh, most of the Quakes, if not all of them. Uh, Unreal Tournament, I was, uh, I was a, a modder for, or like on a mod team for Unreal Tournament for a little while. Um on UT2K4, um, which I find it's funny that we came up with Carball, and that's what Rocket League is now. Like, before, like, I don't know if anything like Carball, like, we called it Carball, like Rocket League, or Carball existed before we came up with it, like, playing soccer with cars, but apparently that shit took off. Um, I think if you actually search for scruff dog carball like carball one word you'll probably see the some of the they're sure some of the posts are still up there from when we were working on it 
I always think I heard I always heard of this game called Rocket League. Then I finally looked at it and I went, "Well, that looks fucking familiar." <laughs> Good game though, fun to play. <laughs> Nigel Gillen, I've never played Doom or seen anyone else play it. But do you call yourself a gamer? That's the important thing, because if you do, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Celtic Engine, I remember playing GL Quake on a pro graphics card. It looked amazing. Oh yeah, some the when the when you got like the good uh like the Voodoo 2 um and the, the early 3D graphics card, and you especially got some Quake on there. Let's so some of the early Quake, just the textures and just the, the extra block count was just great. No, don't play any games. Well you're all right then. As long as you don't call yourself a gamer there, Nigel, you don't have to play Doom. Scorched Earth. I haven't played Scorched Earth. 420 somewhere. Toot toot. <laughs> Meme Jeff plays Monopoly. You know, Monopoly is always really fun for like the first half hour. And then you're like, <sighs> like I got to work next weekend. Like, can we get this shit done this week? Hey, where's the ball? Hmm. Rob says Half-Life is my favorite old game. That is a good game. That was a fun, that was a fun stream. <clears throat> Eight hour stream. When Quake came out, it was mind blowing. So even Mouse knows what's up. <clears throat> I still, I don't know where they are. I like I have Quake on CD. I just don't remember where my CD case is. I think it's back upstairs but no like i have that shit on cd and dvd still like i kept all my original computer um um pancake you know all my uh fuck, um hard media fuck right yeah i still have all of that shit like i have stuff from the compute like the packard bell that i bought in the 90s i think i still have this the thing for that i had brought it on stream once like a long time ago but Dwarfer still has Doom on three and a half floppy. I might. I still have a couple three and a halves that didn't get lost. Is that counter still going? Is it working yet? <laughs> oh, hey, now it's working. Okay. Now, Doom is my favorite game uh, series. Uh, Doom 1 and Doom Eternal are pretty close to uh, trying to figure out which one's my favorite version. But I think Doom 1 will always win that because, like, I've been playing that since before it was, you know, when it was in shareware. When it came out in shareware, before it was even, the, the full version was even done, I was playing that shit. So I've been playing that for, you know, just over 30 years. <laughs> Odin says missed. I'm up the, are, are you talking about the game Pissed? Uh, that that's seems like that's what most people tend to call that game. I think the first Doom I played was off the of three and a half inch floppers. <clears throat> like I got my Atari sitting over there. I do want to get around to that. Mark Gibson, what's up? had a young work colleague ask me once if I had seen one of those big black CDs. <laughs> I think he meant a five and a quarter disc. Wow. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, I, 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 I feel your pain. I, I absolutely know people that would ask the same thing, and I probably know some that have. I just forgot. Tell them, Mike, what's going on? <clears throat> Counter Strike and Battlefield were really good. Uh, 1943. Yeah, I played both of those. Uh, Counter Strike was fun. I had a couple of people I played with that back in the day. I didn't play it a whole lot, but when I did, I was, I did all right. Descent. I have Descent on CD, I think. Um. Okay, let me just do a poll here real quick. Let's see. Hold on, I need to check something. Do 
Let's do a poll here. Uh, do, do. Uh, who was that? Mm -hmm. Oh, not Q and A. What the? Not Q and A. God damn it. <laughs> There we go. Could I find my CDs during break time, aka cat time? Like I'll load up the kitty cats, get Rob playing, and I go look for them. I think they're upstairs. I don't know where else they'd be. Let me know. I don't know how many of you were here the last time I did that. It was, I don't even know if I was monetized when that, when I had them out before. I think they're not, I don't think they're in the bedroom. Oh, I may, it may be, ugh, <clears throat> I may be an extra minute, so if it gets quiet, like if for some reason, like the, the, when I play Rob's video, it's supposed to keep playing whatever's in the directory, but sometimes it doesn't. So if it doesn't, just, uh. I guess it'll just be quiet for a minute while I go search, because they shouldn't be downstairs. Uh, there's no reason why I would have taken them downstairs. Well, there kind of is. I don't know. I'll run up front while the cats will be out of the way. So, Can you stare at the camera and say, I would love it? I don't know that one. Hmm. I kind of... For some reason, that sounds like Wendy's, you know, but no, I don't know that one top smoke, but which, which makes me leery of doing that. I lost my phone for two hours today. I live in a tent seven meters by three meters, says Deltic Mike. Yeah, that could, uh, that could be inconvenient. I remember dry well, of course, Golden Eye. That's another one. That's that's right up there, almost to Doom level of like like legendary gaming. Golden Eye. I remember Driver. I played Driver. I had that on X, whatever version of Xbox it was on. RoboCop. Never played that. Played R Type, Double Dragon. I have that on emulator on my 360 on something. <clears throat> Kevin Keegan. Kevin Keegan. Hold on, let me open up a browser. Kevin Keegan. Oh, why are you all like? Oh, yeah, no, that's where you're supposed to be. Okay. Kevin. That's not listening very well. You're supposed to be able to autofill this using your Snoopy autofill technology. Kevin No, I have no idea. Must be an, a, an English oh, soccer player and manager. That Kevin Keegan? With the big hair? I don't really follow uh, anything football y or soccer y. Football. Foot. Oh, and uh, me and Clive have already discussed the fact that there will be a uh, dual woofage on the 420 stream as well. Have you seen the drama, the YouTube drama with Justin Dotus? Not yet, but I'll look. If a Tozy covers it, I'll see it. If, uh... What's the kid with the glasses and the long hair and, like, the kid's little thing on the wall behind them? Is that a cozy? I don't know. I watched some of those. <coughs> um, the Patrick CC. Watched some of his stuff. When I had the fluvid, I learned a lot of what not to do as a YouTuber. 
<laughs> like a lot. I watched a lot of those videos. Like, wow, these people are fucking dumb. You had how many million subscribers and you said what? <laughs> oh, shit. Kevin Keegan loving it. All right, let me write that. I'll write that down. I'll look that up. Not at the moment. <clears throat> Kevin Keegan. What was it? Loving it. All right. Loving it. Got it. Oh, wait. Kevin Keegan loving it. Dash. Top smoke. I like to take notes of who says what. That way I know who to blame if I waste, uh, if I've wasted my life away. <laughs> Alright, five more minutes to pussies and pianos, or, you know, roughly that time. <clears throat> and it looks like you want me to go run around and find my CDs, which is... If I know exactly where they are. They're in the, they're in the, 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 the I don't know room. The current room that's mostly just storage. They're sitting on top. Uh, actually, they're sitting on one of the cat rugs that came all coiled up. It's sitting on it flat, so I know exactly where they are. So that's cool. I won't be gone for too long, then. And today, yeah, that's right. And I said, already covered today, we'll be playing Rob's first recorded <clears throat> um, thing he sent us, Moonlight Sonata. People lost subscriptions because they had the sniffles. Oh, yeah. Like, that was some funny shit. That seems seems like a lot of people just get way too motherfucking full of themselves. Like, you don't need to calm the fuck down. Like, uh, the Quubble Cobble, he just, he just fucked himself over. He got so, so, so flexy on YouTube that everyone just, gave up on him and then now he just straight up said yeah this channel is just going to be all ai driven shit now for now on now for now on like he gave up and then people that pick weird beefs with other youtubers to stir up some shit and it just makes them flush their whole career <clears throat> um wait hold on just me want sniffles and a vice uh i mean i guess we can work on that they're just me <clears throat> I got a pretty good vice uh, out on the work van. Uh, what's up, Stuart? John's touchpad, lock watcher, DC Allen. There's a couple people. I don't think I've said hello to yet. <clears throat> Chippy, how's my girl? Let me know. Don't sniff wasps. That is good advice, Red Dwarfer. I try to avoid sniffing wasps although 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 once when i was 12 or 13 was at a picnic had a can of coca-cola walked away came back took a drink and <laughs> somehow did not get stung as this wasp which i spit it out and it was i I was too young to know what it was, but it was a, wasn't a bee. I knew the difference between bees and wasps, but it was a wasp. But somehow it didn't sting me, and that was like a holy crap moment. <clears throat> so I would not recommend uh, drinking wasps. Paper wasps are cool. They're Steve Adler's. Yeah, I get them uh, like paper wasps, mud daubers. Is that what you mean? The ones with the little bloops, like hanging off of them? They got the little, it looks like reverse antennae. Um, I have a bunch of them living in my um, patio furniture. It's got like little drain holes in it, and you'll just see a little bit of boop, boop, of the the nest popping out. Um, you know, those are fine. They don't like they really don't care about you. They'll kind of look at you funny, but not because they're pissed. They're just like trying to figure out what you are, and then they just go away. <clears throat> no, I like them. They're fine. Like I don't mess with them at all. The ones I get are like if they try to make a nest in the, the overhead awnings. Um, they always try to make one in the front. So I actually have a can of like long distance stuff that I spray. The only difference now is that when I spray that, I'm going to have to move all the dude's food and water out of the way for a little while so it can drip and do its thing. 
Don't worry, user. I have been covered head to toe in a red wasp swarm during a freak torrential rainstorm and no stings. Are they just like looking for a dry place or something? That's kind of odd. Like, were you dressed up like a big flower? Frank Nettobetti, hornets and beers. I too didn't get stung. He must have got drunk when his body was covered in alcohol. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that probably, I think that actually is a thing with them because they just, I guess they drink it and it just absorbs right in, I, I would think. Top Smook says to never sniff beavers either. They they may have teeth. They may have teeth. You never know. All right. Well, let's see. Um, I will get pussies and pianos going. I will go tinkle. Uh, I will. I'm not real hungry. Uh, so I'll just go grab the CD book out of the room, which you might even be able to see where that is. Let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see where it is. But yeah, we'll get that set up and uh, we'll enjoy some Rob. Piano Man Rob. Yeah, I knew some dumbass that was like, oh, look at this fucking wasp nest in the ground. Maybe I should just step on it and kill them all. I'm like, yeah, you do that. I'm going to get 50 feet away, you dumb fuck. <clears throat> See how that works out for you. Uh, survival of the fittest used to be a thing. You know what I mean? All right, let's put this at negative two, I believe, is the good number. Don't miss out on the benefits of promoting your product on YouTube. Fill out this survey. Uh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, where? Where is Rob? Where is Rob? Cat plus Rob. Hey, that framed out pretty good. I messed with the crop a little bit. Actually, it came out not bad. Ooh, all right. Toot toot with airwaves chewing gum? What is airwaves? Why does that sound familiar? Airwaves? You get kippers in the U.S. I don't know what kippers are. It sounds familiar there. Lots of things sound familiar. What is it? Uh, let me make sure I'm saying this. I was trying to remember this. Rob can correct me if need be. Because he taught me the word. Is it Worcestershire sauce? Like for steaks and shit? Worcestershire? Right? Am I still remembering that right? Because I heard like the classic Worcestershire sauce thing the other day. <clears throat> Worcester. Like rooster. Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Worcester? Worcestershire? No, nah, that's the severely American way to say it. <clears throat> All right. Worcester away. Worcester away. Why am I going to mention airwaves? Airwaves come. Wooster, sure. Wooster, smoked hair. Yeah, that's it. Well, Kipper, smoked hair. Yeah, there are. Yeah, that's a. That is a thing. But I don't really do fish. <clears throat> Not much. Um. Yeah, let's do the cat thing. I'll go grab the CDs and we'll see what the oldest version of what I have left, and go from there. One moment. Well, actually, I can't do that yet. I gotta push play. Make sure it goes out. That's turned on. Gaming rig turned off. Uh, you know, I don't, I, that's, I have so, so many buttons. All right, this should work.
Thank you, Rob. That was Piano Man Rob or Rob Warren. <clears throat> I saw someone asked who that was. He sends us tracks occasionally of him playing so that we have something to listen to while the pussycats do their thing. And thank you, Stuart, clearly for the 10 euros. Love your channel. Whose hands are those playing that beautiful tune? Yeah, yes, that is, that is Rob. And his YouTube channel was just posted in chat. It is also in the uh, video description. I always feel like the mic should be pointed up a little bit, but I feel like that's going to loosen the mount. Well, we're just, we're, we're, I think we're good. <laughs> just realize I'm in the kitchen cooking, says Bowden. That, that will happen. Everything should be normal for the, uh, let me see now. Yeah, my microphone is locked, <clears throat> but I'm also looking around a lot. <clears throat> I may have to bring it a little up higher, too. Eh, I'll mess with it a little bit. I keep tweaking it here and there. Wow, Ronnie is... <sighs> uh, that'll give Lee a lot to uh, clean up when uh, everyone else... God, it's like everybody. See what they did? It's because they eat all the gravy first. I now I have had to get, like, bowling bumpers for cats to eat all the food. Can you reach up and touch the plate? Uh, boop. Let me pick Ronnie's nose. When I eat meat, do I lick the gravy or eat the meat? Well, I put the gravy on said meat and I eat both at the same time there, Mean Jeff. My cats won't eat gravy-based food, only jelly, says Electron Box. Yeah, they're, they're usually pretty okay with, like, the pate style stuff, too. But I think I got, I think the, I had to get more uh, gooshy food for them and I got the gravy again. But this time I got uh, some, like, grilled. I think it was grilled theme or something. <clears throat> oh, there you go, buddy. All right, so Ronnie's going to take care of that. And I got that, what is that glare on my seeing? Is that the cutout on the back of the box? I think it is. Yeah, it is. I don't have to cover that cutout. I don't need that cutout anymore with the current system. Anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you look at Ronnie's nose, you can kind of see where there's like a glare on the glass. Like I have a box over the camera to try and block all the light, but that was cut in it from the previous setup. Uh, but now that's not needed, but I can see it. It's bugging me. Bugging. Hmm, excuse me. <clears throat> I'll see you later, DC Allen. Have a groovy evening. And you two, Steve Otlers. I mean, Beefcake could have eaten this time, but he'd rather just sit there with the toy in his mouth. They will eat you when you die, says Mr. Egg Cake. Oh, I, I, I know. I am fully aware of that. I will be their food source until they are rescued. I'm fine with that. Like, no point in wasting me while my, my de de yeah. decomposing ass. Might as well use it before you lose it. 
like if I know I'm dying, like I'm even like sprinkle catnip on myself. Be like, here you go. You'll figure it out. In a, you'll you'll figure it out in about twelve hours. <laughs> Good proteins is Bowden. Yeah, but then they'll all be fucking stoned afterwards. <clears throat> like, man, what is in that meat? Man, I'm hungry. And then they're just going to, it's going to be that cycle. They're just, it's going to be like they're eating edibles. Well, I mean, they, they, whoops, they kind of are. <clears throat> oh, let's see. We covered that. Ooh. Where did I just hit the lead on? I love that when I hit the wrong button <laughs> or the wrong keyboard. Mama's heading out. Oh, wow. They got that floor cleaned up quick, man. Oh, no, wait. No, never mind. Still see a bunch under Ronnie's plate. Well, Ronnie's first plate. I do need to do something with this microphone because I do look that way a lot. Let's see. Just stare at the cat for a second here. Hold on. Let me see. I don't know if that's, uh, is your house sort of open? Not really. Especially not since I added this wall. Like, each room is open because I don't, like, like, I have a bunch of shit, but it's, you know, like, mostly organized. The basement is just starting to get more organized. Um, but as far as my living space areas, I keep it, try to keep it kind of sparse, sparse, sparse 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 god damn <clears throat> come on get the stuff under the plate yeah. you know, there you go there you go get it girl yeah go plasma cat there's more there get closer to the plasma ball Chicken curry. Empty? What empty? I'm not empty. I mean, I did just pee. So, I mean, that's empty. I think the bong is empty. Yeah, the bong's burned out. They've got to try all the... Oh, yeah. N none of them trust the rest of them that they actually finished up their food, which is great. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Rob. Can you go grab a Discord link? Uh, for those, I keep forgetting to mention it. Um, but most of you probably already know. If you didn't know, I've been doing like a, uh, like a practice before I do it on YouTube. I decided to just experiment and do a practice run on the experimental mode on, uh, KSB2. So, like, about every week or so. We've been, uh, I've been sh like hanging out on YouTube video chat, like streaming as I'm playing the game, and like, you know, people from chat are there. We're like, we're kind of, some of us are talking, some of us are just watching. Like, no video or microphone required. You can just join and watch. But, uh, just so you know, like, I do occasionally stream on Discord as well. But that's just a chill sesh, you know, like, it's not structured kind of thing it's just a bunch of us sitting around while i play <clears throat> and we get a, some people that just kind of show up don't really say anything and that's cool some people show up and they'll get in the text chat oh there's mama and we try to we try to follow text chat as much as we can but it does get kind of lost sometimes and i obviously can't do it if i'm playing but if you have discord or Whatever. And, uh... Let me find a link here. Open 
up Discord. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to hit this bong here in a fucking second. And there's the link to Discord. If you haven't joined yet or whatever. But yeah, what I do is uh, I send out like an, an every one notification, usually an hour or two before I start. Because I don't, they're not like plans. Because it's just, you know, basically I play a game and invite everyone to kind of hang out. I quite like as the frozen meals. Some of the quote unquote off brand. You know, like Aldi, like over here, Aldi and Lidl are considered off-brand, even though they're very popular kind of thing. But a lot of the off-brand stuff is way better than the real thing. We were talking about that with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What is Mama doing? Is she taking a bath? She's taking a bath. Well, you know what I mean. All right. And now she's standing on top of the uh, sump pump box. All right, let me switch it on over. My coffee is empty. Switching to tea. Discord's fun. Like, it's not just voice chat. Like, it's a lot of text, uh, like, forums where you just go, like, hey, how's everybody doing? And, like, you could get an instant reply or reply 24 hours later. And you just share everybody's share of stuff. <clears throat> Top Smoke says, nobody should be eating processed meals. How hard is it to make chili or a curry? <laughs> just throw it together real quick. Actually, I got a bunch of ingredients to make some chili. I should get the crock pot out. Maybe do, maybe that'll be cooking with stuff. What is it, four? I think. Is this working? Yeah, okay. Yeah, put new batteries in that. It actually goes through all the colors now. It's a lot of, it's not just one color pattern. Apparently, it's a bunch of random ones. All right, uh, let's hit this bong. Then I'll grab the CD book, which I retrieved, and we will go through that. Morrison's stuff is gross. If more is Morrison like a uh, bigger brand? Ah. That cat at the door has already washed himself more than I have. That's that's tiny mama. She tries to be very clean. <clears throat> she was a uh, feral cat. Well, yeah, she was a feral cat. I rescued her, and then she pooped out five little kittens, and I kept all of them until like the divorce and split the kids. Yada yada. You know, cats, kids, you know, I didn't actually have any kids. <coughs> hmm. Celtic Engine, I tried to get on Discord, but somehow the account setup screwed up for me. Yeah, they're, they're set up and sometimes their recovery stuff can be a real overly secure pain in the ass. What are you smoking, Scruff? Um... Puro Blanco, indica strain of the old cannabis. Can of what? Cannabis. Just me, I'm trying to get into Discord. I find it very overwhelming, but I'll get there. Yeah, just me stops by and watch out and watches. Uh, TJ, oh, there, I can't remember everybody, but a bunch of goofballs usually show up. <clears throat> Asda is now owned by two brothers who started with petrol stations. Okay. So Asda, that's how uh, Aldi and Lidl is. That's two brothers. Oh, that's all. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Now we're... So the goofball toast is now at 8 o'clock. I gotta 
fix that in the description because now that I'm back an hour, but it's still based on UTC. But daylight savings time is stupid, so. <coughs> How is my audio, everybody? Couple people seem to be having a. It seems that it's low. How is it for everybody else? Good, perfect, good, good. Some are quiet, some's fine. Like, how's the level, I guess? Like, I know with, like, I know, like, when I watch Clive on the TV, I gotta sit at the 45, like, the volume to 45. If I watch, uh, um, like, uh, Cutting Edge Australia, I gotta sit at the 50. If I watch my stuff, like, I gotta go over something, I gotta sit at, the, like, 43 or something like that. <clears throat> Mr. Eight Cakes says, same as usual. Kinda low. I wonder if the new thingy makes it just a little bit um, muffled. That's why I got it. It sounds different in the headphones a little bit too. Yeah, I'm gonna like I I mm, mm, <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna give it half a decibel. Why not? We'll give it half a decibel. <clears throat> Ed's got me at 42%. Okay, what are, you, are you on Discord or do you always have me at 42% there, Mr. Ed Bird? I wonder if there is some kind of a weird audio thing going on with Discord. Like if they're trying to work something out and some streams are lower than others, others, others on audio. I don't know how there'd be back like I have well there might be background when I'm speaking but I have double noise blocking on because I still got the noisy fan over the door but the quiet fan like the stand-up fan the little stick fan that came in so hopefully tomorrow Monday or Tuesday I'll put that in but tomorrow I'm going to focus on getting the cat wall set up which I'm going to time lapse I'm not going to like live stream it because then I you know, I'm going to feel kind of pressured to get it done. I'm not going to want to take breaks and shit. So I'm going to record it and time lapse it and then release that as a video as I build the cat's wall. <clears throat> if I do it tomorrow, I still got to go to Home Depot to get a six foot shelf. Don't think there's one out in the garage, but I will double check. Compared to all other streams, I am 8 decibels low. That's weird. Huh. So a lot of people say I'm coming in low. Some people say I'm coming in normal. That makes me think it's a YouTube thing being derp. The cat music was correct. But I'm low. Well, actually, I turned the cat music up. From where it usually is, because the Rob's older videos, the the levels are a little different, so that's kind of hard to use as a benchmark. Shit. <laughs> then Ed says, "Okay, you can't. I don't know what's going on. Unless, uh, like, I thought my mic was always at negative four eight, but maybe it's a little off. But some people are saying it's okay. I'll, I'll give it a full decibel more. We'll lock it down, and we'll go from there." I don't think it's necessarily where I'm positioned at, because this is pretty good in this general area. <laughs> All good here, says Stuart. Uh, well, I appreciate the five euros. The five dollars and 41 cents American. Seems like we're getting a little closer in value there. All good here, scruff dog. Click. Eh, we'll tweak it out. Who knows, maybe next week it'll be really loud for everybody and we'll know that it is just YouTube being derpy derp. Five by five. Kind of stole that from NASA Space Flight. But at least I made my own. I have no point of reference for, for Discord versus anything else, Ed, because Discord is... Once you figure out, figure it out, it's pretty okay, but it can be a little... 
with uh, audio and video stuff. <clears throat> but the cat was louder. What, did you hear the cats meowing? Meow. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to be getting my CDs, wasn't I? Fucking hell. So it's, it's, so a lot of people are saying it's lower. I mean, I'm looking at, you know, actually, I'm looking at the feed in, and it is not going up as much as it usually does. My output is up. Pad volume is good. Pitch is regular. That's off. I got double, see, I guess it would be closer to like here. It does actually look like it's coming into OBS lower. The monitor doesn't, monitor volume doesn't matter. I wonder what's going on with that. Let me put that up to like negative two lock it down <clears throat> so i just gave from the beginning of the stream to now i've given myself another three decibels well 2.8 decibels so we'll uh see how this goes because all everything else is where it normally would be that's better night night gramshaw gramshaw right folks i must really be off i'm up in under six hours you do that a lot don't you I'm up in under six hours, and I need to wind down a bit before I go to bed. Thank you. Love the vids. Cheers. Good night to all. And thank you, Graham Shaw. Uh, hey, you know what? While, while, while you're out, yeah. Cheers to Graham Shaw. I hope you uh, wind down and get some good sleepy time. Cheers. Oh, I know my volume's been a little bit low, but I didn't, like, since day one, as Mike V is saying, which, that'd be funny if you were who I thought you were, um, but, uh, I guess it's, I feel like mine's close to Clive-ish, because Clive's is really low, not that I was trying to match Clive's, but I realized I'm one of the quieter ones, so I just kind of left it like that. Like, the, the slider on the microphone is at, like, eight and a half. I actually have a piece of electrical tape across it. But I just don't like running shit at 10. You know what I mean? Like, I, most of the stuff is just under 10, except for the main output. <coughs> but, yeah, I kind of figured, like, since at this point I've established my volume, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just going to kind of rock with it. That's why, like, when people start saying that it sounds a little different, then uh, it's time to start troubleshooting. That is a little weird. But it probably is because of the extra noise reduction because of that fan. Like, if I turn, like, I'm not going to, but I bet next week if I have that new fan installed, I'm, what I'll do is I'll put everything back to normal and we'll see how it sounds next week. Assuming I get the quieter fan in and I don't have to run double, uh, Double denoise, as it's called. <clears throat> All right, CDs. Jesus Christ. Two weeks later. So here's my CD thing. And this is like 20 years old. <laughs> CD projects. All right. Do you know what this is? Is that the save button? Yeah. Yeah, I got a million saves, so they sent me a save button. This was from 10,000 saves. Huh. <laughs> Take down. Hackers 2. Clockwork Orange. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Mall Rats. Mortal Kombat 4. Call of Duty 2. <clears throat> the original Hitman. Really not that scratched either. Ooh, here's an old school one. Assuming that's still player that <laughs> somebody might like that for probably more than it's actually worth. OG Star Wars. 
meteor me media. Ooh, who remembers that? The original Blood Rain? That was a fucking great game. You gotta put the little you gotta put the little piece up that holds it in. Terminal Velocity. Duke Nukem. Like the original Duke Nukem 3D. Nightmare Creature. Tom Clancy Rainbow Six. Well, here's the original Duke Nukem. If you've never played the original Duke Nukem 3D, please play that after you play Doom. That is a hilarious game. Bad Mojo, Odd World, Earth Siege 2. There you go. This is what I was talking about earlier. UT 2K4. The play disc and the bonus disc. Oh, and that's a DVD. That's not a CD. That's a DVD. <clears throat> Some burn stuff. NASCAR Thunder 2003. Let's see. What other old cool stuff? Lots of burn stuff. <laughs> okay. There we go. This is easier just to hold up. Uh, let's go. Yeah, this way. So there's that. Now, the other way. That's Doom 1. And then Ultimate Doom is the darker one. Then Doom 2. Uh, what's it? Final Doom. Deathmatch Wads. Like a bunch of WAD file. You know, DLC, we would call it nowadays. Like, you had to buy DLC back then, too. And you have the original Quake. More Doom stuff. Doom 3 hard copy. Let's see. What year was this? Quake 1996. So that's the original Quake. Boom. The sun. I thought I had the scent in here. <clears throat> Actually, it may be one of the burned ones. That may be why I didn't stop at it. Oh, here you go. For those of you who want to talk about an OG series, this is disc one of five of the first Far Cry. And it was optimized for NVIDIA cards. <clears throat> of course, even back then, they were fighting for it. How many Dooms are there? Uh, like 11, I think. You've got a Duke Nukem 2D platformer, Franco. That sounds like that would be great. <laughs> Actually. Puppy Linux 5.2. How old is that? Windows 2000, that's burn. Oh, here's a Descent 3. There's a burn Descent 3, all for Linux. Disc 1 of 2. <laughs> this is not a THC cert there, uh, Meme Jeff. This is capsaicin. You know, the thing that makes spicy taste spicy. Windows XP, uh, Packard Bell Master CD. Does this have a year on it? Software included. Action 3.0. America Online. Better Homes and Gardens Healthy Cooking. CompuServe. Wow. <clears throat> Prodigy Membership Kit. Wow, it's just all this bloatware that just came with back then. There's no actual date on it. Let me on the other side. Uh, this should have been like late 90s. Uh, Microsoft Windows 95. There we go. Microsoft Encarta 95. Multimedia Encyclopedia. 
And Windows 95. God. Oh, yeah, you got all that free, free month of everything. And don't worry if you didn't, if you're getting ready to run out of AOL back in the way, back in the day, just wait a couple days. Another free week would show up in the mail. God, they love giving that shit out. Bunch of CDs for fucking WRT 54Gs. I got a pile of those downstairs. Scrapbook factory. Bloatware. Like, like and now that they, they just include bloatware on shit, but back in the day, they would just give you a CD of bloatware. Like, at least then you could look at it and go, no, you didn't have to check the box, but I always just kept this shit anyway. <clears throat> Come on. What are you doing? Ooh, here we go. Here's something old school for you. Uh, does this have a year on it? It doesn't. ATI Catalyst 9.5 video card drivers for Windows uh, Windows 7, up to Windows 7. I'm sure, if that, I, don't, I would assume that's still available online. Uh, Subsonic Subarus here. Remember when PC magazines came with shareware CDs? Yeah, that's how I got. To, that's how I got to play Doom. Dell 2001 FP monitor user documentation. Ah, uh, here's, here's, here it's. Still have that fucking sound blaster. It's sitting downstairs. That was like the hot shit back fucking. That was when I built my Doom 3 um, PC with nothing but Doom 3 uh, recommended and branded parts kind of thing. Microsoft Sidewinder game controller. Yeesh. Oh, no, I, I fucking love some of this shit. Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness. That's not that old, I don't think. Oh, I love that. I love going through that stuff. <clears throat> Common knowledge, CDs lose their quality over time and become unreadable. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to play these games ever again, but it's at this point, it's cool just to look through and go, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember that. Like, it's as cool as a memory thing. Like, it's more of a, uh, you know, photo album than anything at this point because, like, nothing would play these unless I... Well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I have computers downstairs that if that, that those would run on. I got some old, some pretty old shit downstairs for some reason. X Plane was my jam. Do you think I played X Plane? Uh, do I have a Netscape CD? Not anymore. I used to have a bunch of Netscape CDs. Ah, oh, there we go. Whew. I actually have to, used to have a lot of Netscape. I used Netscape. <clears throat> uh, my first ISP was Netcom. And on Netcom, I used the Netscape browser when it was still pretty young. And that was in... I first lo logged into the intern... God, I'm old. All right, kids. <clears throat> so I first logged into the internet when my like own account to even see what the fuck it was. In February, guess what year? Fuck it. February of what year was the first time I logged into the internet? Do, do, do. <clears throat> when I, uh, I used to, I used to run a shoutcast server so I could listen to my own music on my cell phones. Garbled user has it. February of 1996 was when I first logged into Netcom on a 14.4K bald modem. Remember dot matrix printers? I, yeah, we actually, we still use some at work. That's still a standard in, at, in like the industry. We use uh, Okadatas. Ninety-six. God, I'm old. <clears throat> I work with people that aren't even that old. <laughs> and then I upgraded to a 
Uh, I went from the 14.4, like whatever was in the 486 DX2. Um, and then I, within a few months, I upgraded to a US Robotics uh, 56K V2, which was kind of 128K ish. You know, like it had the ability at just the right times to give you, like, you know, a, a boost of speed, but it sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But Back in the day, U.S. Robotics was like the hot shit. Like, that was like, I don't know, it was almost like the Cisco of nowadays kind of thing. <clears throat> Not as old as some of us dudes, it's just me. Well, yeah, I, I get that. I, I, I get that. <clears throat> and yeah, I never had to deal with tapes. Like, when I got into it, the first time I sat in front of a computer was uh, elementary school. Uh, that would have been the third grade, third or fourth grade, uh, Apple two E's. So that would have been 1986 or 1987 was the first time I, uh, sat at a computer and played, of course, Oregon Ridge. Well, that was the hot shit back then. Um, I think I just bought that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I had an Apple IIe at school, <clears throat> then in the fifth grade, I wanted, since that's what we were using, that's what I wanted, so I, my parents bought me an Apple IIc Plus, which was a, basically an Apple IIe with a button you could hit that had a four-speed accelerator, like, built-in overclock, or, you know, run old speed for games that couldn't handle it, and it was capable of, what was it? Uh, 240 by 360 at 256 colors or something? Like, something outstanding. Like, holy shit, so many colors kind of deal. Um, ooh. But, uh, God, I had that computer up until probably, what, 15 years ago? Like, it just kind of went around with me for a while. <clears throat> Celtic Engine, U.S. Robotics was like the gold standard of modems. There were actually two competing 56K standards. Some people were able to shotgun two modems for twice the speed. Gotcha. Okay. Subsonic Subaru, Mr. IT, if you have any questions on IT or Subaru. On top of needing the modem, your ISP had to have an open 56K to connect you to the hub. Oh, okay. <clears throat> You have no idea how those worked. Like, that was literally like one modem per customer at these call centers, I, I take it. Maybe it was 480 by something. Like, I can't remember. I'd have to, like, look up the specs. Oh, yeah, 422 tooth. Uh, yeah, let me finish this bong off. Second round on that. <coughs> Like Hanley, I remember having a Win modem and not just working with Linux, so I had to buy a hardware one with a serial connection. I remember Win modem. I feel like I used that for something. That was dead as shit. <laughs> Win modem. What would I have used that for? Hmm. I have no idea what the weather is going to be for the eclipse. I saw the one that was here, um, what, six or seven years ago? Like, I think I even still have the glasses, but I'll be working. I think I'll be working when it goes by over there, and I'm, like, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I have to see what the resolution of that thing was. But it was, like, higher resolution thing. <clears throat> Some Linux distros actually had drivers for some win modems. They were a cost-cutting measure. I forget what I would have used that for. Subsonic. Dial-up was literally serial over phone lines in terms of both consoles had to talk at the same speed and etc. Gotcha. Okay. That's a lot of, uh... <laughs> Why does that, for some reason, remind me of, like, fucking, mi like, crypto mining centers nowadays? Just <laughs> equipment everywhere. 
<laughs> don't call me. I'm on the internet. God, I remember you used to be able to do, uh, I uh, used to be able to, at some point, at least up here, I don't know how far it went, but you could put in a code to disable call waiting before you dialed so that they would just get a busy signal and it wouldn't kick you off the phone line. I forget what that was, but I remember you could do a code to disable that, like for that call. I would have to do that all the time on my dedicated. Now, what was that? Like 410, it was a 538 number. I used to remember, like, I, I get a lot of, like, I have certain phone numbers stuck in my head, um, like, forever. Star 76, that's, yeah, that's right, because I remember, like, thinking, at the time, I remember thinking something like, like, bicentennial kind of thing, something like that. Yeah, but I remember I had to use that. Like, nobody ever really, got, like, the phone line I had um, when I first got online like was just used for the internet, but even back then you had fucking spam bullshit going on. <clears throat> Franco got my first PC in 2004, a Toshiba laptop. Hey, Toshiba's not bad. Like, Toshiba's good. Back then they were pretty good, too. Star pound, O3 pound. What's that for, Rob? Like, instant booby access? Yeah, black collar ID. I, th I thought that's what it was, yeah. But yeah, I'd get enough spam phone calls that it would get annoying. Because, like, it really took a long time to download porn videos back then. Like, so it was really frustrating when, you know, they got disrupted. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like nowadays where there's so much porn. Like, if you, if, if you can't find the right porn, that, and if you're looking for something and you can't find it, like... Either you need to go on the dark web or you're just you're just good. <laughs> that mean Jeff. <laughs> Never heard anything about chapter four on uh, Poppy Playtime, but next time I'll make sure I'm a little more rested before I play so I don't get so like ugh, frustrated at the end. What is your favorite serial over phone lines? Hmm. You know, if I'm over a phone line, you know, I'd probably go with Cocoa Krispies, like if I was sitting on top of a phone pole, like just chilling on top like a bird or like a lost bear. You know, if you watch enough YouTube, you know what I mean? But I think if I was over the phone, uh, over the serial lines or the data lines, I, uh, I'd, I'd probably go with the chocolate. I think I would enjoy that more at a, at a, a higher altitude because you get to savor it and enjoy the view. Like, I have been straight up on top of a hill on a 160-foot boom lift. So I definitely know how to enjoy some view. <clears throat> that was down at uh, Georgetown University, PMing one of their super booms. Remember when you could call 1-800-EAT-SHIT and it was a free I kind of remember that, Paul T, and it was a free party line. I kind of remember that. I remember all those fucking, like, you had some really wicked shit commercials that would come on in the middle of the night with, like, party lines and stuff. Like, half the time, you'd want to stay up just to see, like, the dumbest shit. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> and, like, you know, they got the thing where they're, like, laying on the beds, you know, like, 1980 style with the feet kicking up. <laughs> oh, really? Like, all, oh, my God, it was fucking amazing. 1-900 numbers, that's what they were. Yeah. They finally evolved into one nine hundred numbers. Like they got their own fucking classification. They were so many of them. Thank you, Mister Phil. <laughs> That's right. Holy shit. <clears throat> ah, like it was no shit. Like it was. It was almost like watching Super Bowl commercials, especially on a Saturday night after like talk shows, like the big talk shows on Saturday nights and sh or Friday nights and Saturday nights. Oh my god, it was like watching Super Bowl commercials because there was always something new and just even out goofed the last one it's fucking great <laughs> oh you know one 900 was all like the party lines and like the weird like not normal business line stuff you know what i mean but it was all it was all that shit five five ninety five a minute and you can listen to us smack our wiener on a table we promise that's what we're doing 
how are you? Oh, hi. Oh, hey, baby. How you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm four foot nine and, and weigh 80 pounds. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, and like, you know, it's, you know, it just, like, it was just whatever fantasy you wanted. Like, I can, could not believe some of the dumbest shit you would see on that TV. Ah, uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do a vertithermal woofle here in a minute for those that are still hanging out. Slapping the reciprocating pendulum. <laughs> Paul Norman is off to count sheep. Catch me on Wednesday on Lego Wednesday. Have a good weekend and take care, everybody. You do the same, Paul Norman. Hope your weekend is groovy. Ghosts and goblins. Wait a minute. Wasn't that a... Wasn't that a, like a thing? Like a board game or a card game or something? Ghosts and goblins? Why does that sound super ultra familiar there, Delta Mike? Huh. Is that like an Atari game? I think Jet Set Willy is 40 years old this year, says Mouse. An old PC game. Okay, I feel like that was a game, yeah. Arknoid Revenge. I forget where, where are my games. I think they're downstairs still. Yeah, because there's only a couple of them sitting with the Atari over there. <clears throat> Steamboat Willie. Yeah, we can talk about Steamboat Willie now that all that shit's worked out. I'm just waiting. Uh, has Mouse come out yet? That horror movie? I need to check on that. That looks like it's going to be in direct competition with Winnie the Pooh, which I personally think Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey was badly good. Like, you know, it's one of those like way B movie things, but you know what? It took them $100,000 to make and they made like millions of dollars. So good enough. And I thought it was pretty all right. I'm kind of looking forward to part two. <clears throat> I'm also looking forward to all the horror shit coming out with Steamboat Willie. I love, I just love the fact that Disney finally had to let go of a little piece of its history. You know what I mean? So we kind of get to go Ooh, to Disney for all its dumb shit. Historically dumb shit, nowadays slightly better stuff, but it still it depends where you are, you know what I mean? Like, they try to push the good stuff, but at the same time, they kind of push some bad stuff, too. So, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like Amazon, I guess. I guess. Disney ruins a lot of things. Yeah, like... Like, their social, social agenda, and I don't mean that in a negative way, is good. Um, but the way they handle their properties, meaning ownership of, you know, Lucasfilms and Marvel and well, fucking epic rap battles of history are technically owned by Disney. Um, like the the properties they own, they just they they just clang and bang them, and that that's all they do. <laughs> Yeah, I hear the staff like if you like you got to be something special if they're gonna even want to deal with you. Disney Plus just absorb motor trend. Oh my god, jeez, that's a fucking shame. Wow. Ah, oh, that's right. I was gonna do a vertithermal woofle. Y'all need to remind me more often. <laughs> Or not, I guess. Yeah, whatever you want to do here. All right, let's uh, let's try to set some shit on fire. Oh, right, well, welcome back, Stuart. Just in time for another vertifer on my woofle. One nine hundred was also Miss Chloe and Psychic Friends Network, says Mister uh, Phil. Yeah, that was that's right. Yeah, all the like I said, all the non-standard oh, business stuff. Nice. All that is Burke. It says Ed just gifted zero members. Like I even hit the reset button. Well, thank you, Ed, for 10 more memberships to uh, Smithy, Nicholas, Hendrik, Vernon, Peter, Freaky, Adrian, Fama. 
Ah, not one shot. I know who that is. Um, welcome and welcome back. Okay. All right, let's uh go to Vertithermal Thermal Woovil. Uh, yeah, don't worry, it's still erroring out. We're not missing anything. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm almost out of juice. Ooh, that was pretty good. Yeah, I'm really low on juice. Let me see if I can eat one more out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that had a weird spinny. See that? I think I can get one more out of it. Whee! Almost leaving like footprints up there. All right. Yoink. Thanks again, there, Mr. Ed. Freddy. Yeah, just ordered lights to redo uh, the, the strip view, the L you see, like, uh, towards the, that, uh, that direction, not that one. Although those may get replaced. Actually, those are stuck to the wall, so those will stay. But I ordered a longer set for the overhead lights to make everything a little bit brighter. Uh, the upstairs neighbors would... That's... Uh, that's Ronnie's room, so he, he's probably happy with that. It probably puts a good, decent warm spot up there for him. Do you miss the woofle zap? Oh, let me see if I can get one more out of it. While we're still on the screen. Maybe I'll get one more out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much dry. Excellent. No. Excellent. Thank you, Stuart Cleary, for five more years. Much appreciated. Uh, well, you can tell when it's getting warm up there when the fan blade kind of blends in with the ceiling. And it looks like the woofle or the woofle, the the alerts are finally starting to work for a minute. <coughs> oh, don't make me president! That oh, good lord, I'd be a dictator, but in a whole other sense of like just making dumb people go away. <laughs> You think what? Ugh, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on. Son of the real can is there a reality camp somewhere? Oh well, thank you just me for twenty pounds. Much appreciate the sticker. Is that a that looks like a Sheba? It's got a curly tail, that not I think that's a Sheba Inu. Thank you again. We appreciate. That will go towards cat treats, um, Legos, and whatever uh, games we rock out. Oh, I gotta put that. That's the thermal camera was like going blah, 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 right out of the corner of my eye. Like I can block it out where the main screen is up there, but not right there. Sure, there's a reality camp. It's a barge wandering aimlessly through the middle of the ocean somewhere. Yeah, that'll that'll snap some people into reality. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Check out uh, Delta Mike's channel there. Uh, just I think you just right click on his name and it says go to channel. Take a look there. I've actually checked, uh, taken a look. I think I'm subscribed to you. 
Good evening, folks. It's Sunday evening as Oops. I record this, <laughs> and and there's a preview. <laughs> so yeah, go check out Delta Mike's channel. Here, I'll even give you a link. I'll give you a direct link. Oh, there you go. Chippy got it. But yeah, if you get a copyright strike against me, just I'm in uh, a bit of a thoughtful mood. Just say it's okay. He's in a thoughtful tomorrow. Mood. Tomorrow. Or today, when you're watching this, I assume, mm. on the Monday, Monday the 14th of August, Ooh. marks the anniversary of when I truly became homeless. Ooh. That's all you get. Check it out. I know I've watched some of the your videos, but I just actually officially subscribed. I don't know why it wasn't before, because I thought it was. Click that bell. There you go. All right. Is the cat like. Dude cam keeps not working. But it's got a full battery in it. Oh well. I put food out for the dude earlier. I'm gonna have to sort out what's going on with the Wi-Fi on that camera. But might literally just be because there's a, just a bunch of metal in the area. But I'll see what I can do. You are welcome, Delta Mike. Ow. <clears throat> You ain't got to worry about no pennies and all that. Like, if any, like right now, like, if anybody's got a YouTube channel, like, speak up. Like, that's cool. Like, I'm good at promoting other people's channels. Like, that's how my channel came about, uh, because of Clive promoting me. So, I am more than happy to promote other channels. Uh, like, Chipmunk posted at, at Pilar's channel, which I, now I know how to say his name, because I, or say their name, because I've watched the channel. It's an awesome channel. <clears throat> um, Lil Jim's got his YouTube channel thing going on. I'm actually going to have to go put the mice in the, uh, warm water here soon, so they can start warming up. Mr. Phil 1969 has a channel. Just hit 500. Oh, well, that's uh, that's the first big milestone. Mr. Phil's channel is just been posted in chat. What in the world just happened? Oh, there we go. YouTube's getting a little little weird there, but we're fine, right? right. Scruff, and to the chat, any preference for 3D printer filament? Uh, I use a lot of Inland PLA. That's what I use. I use Inland, which is eSun, if you didn't know. Uh, eSun makes Inland uh, PLA and PLA Plus and their pet G's and all that. So I use either one. Um, I've used some of like the Amazon branded stuff, and that was actually pretty good, too. Um, didn't have any problems with it. You know, very little stringing. It was pretty consistent. Um, there's Mouse's channel. Very good channel for like diesel stuff, mechanical stuff, dancing slugs. Um, good channel, good channel. Subsonic Subaru also. I've uh, mentioned him as well. I just watched his latest uh, video with his boy. There's Subsonics right there. Let's see, who am I missing here? Sorry if I'm missing it, trying to catch them. <laughs> Subsonics says, appreciate the shout outs. It's pushing me to edit and upload. Well, there you go. There you go. Mouse has to get some sleep. Why, why do you sleep, Mouse? Like, Wow, you're actually, oh, no way. You're not going to bed at a reasonable time. Yeah, I'll see you in a couple hours. 
PLA or pet G. I use uh, rarely PLA. I generally use PLA plus. Uh, I have some pet G. I've used it for a few things like in the like in the truck in the car that's going to get extra heat. Um, but I typically use just PLA plus inland or eSun. Like I said, I had a couple of Amazon ones. They were fine, but I try to stick to eSun or inland from Micro Center. <clears throat> I mean, I'm still using spools I bought like a year or two ago. I keep them in a, a an airtight case with um, uh, humidity regulators in them for growing pot <laughs> to keep them like around 68 uh, uh, 68% humidity. And they still print really well. They haven't gotten riddles, so I'm still rocking with them. Josh Homan also has a channel just starting. I just subscribed. That's right there. Burr. Caveman is now officially downloading. Word. <clears throat> Thank you for putting in the work to keep us technical folks entertained. Sure. Just kind of doing my thing. Hanging out. <laughs> we all got we all got so used to like the three, four, five hour streams of Clive. Like once they went to an hour and a half and then all that shit went down, I went, well, you know, I mean a lot of people still want a long stream, you know. I just figure I used to do what three and a half, four hours, so that kind of fills the five hour gap, at least when you know when there's a public stream. All right, fifteen minutes we have the toast to the gaggle of goofballs when all the renewals pop up over there. That usually works. It's the gifting thing that gets weird. Hong <clears throat> oh, oh, weird. Mouse doesn't want to see mouses being eaten. And it's nearly 1 a.m. There, Chippy, yes. Yes, it is late. Now everybody's back on, like, the same time. Well, most people are back on the same time-ish. Josh's channel is linked. Oh, yeah, everybody got that all at once. You are also welcome. Lock Watcher says the only video I have on the Lock Watcher YouTube is my fountain, quote unquote. Okay. And for a while, all I had on there was um, me riding through the Seven Sisters on my motorcycle on a camera that I mounted on the forks, and then a video of kids spraying uh, starting fluid on skateboards, and then riding them and then having other his buddy light it on fire so he could ride a flaming skateboard and he just kept doing it over and over again and it was like okay oh, oh thank you a sub sonic subaru for the five memberships scott wade jordan the country pumpkin philip and josh i believe that's all a welcome back appreciate that did you uh did you get that shit sorted out on friday that uh when I uh, ran into you? Or is that still in CM hell? <laughs> oh. I work, in case you haven't figured it out, I work, like, actively work with a subsonic Subaru. <clears throat> I am really pissed gonna listen to the sounds. Oh. Okay, you're not, I, I kind of forget that sometimes piss doesn't mean angry, it means like, woo! So, cheers to, uh, to all that, yeah. 
Rob, is your neck better, a bit better from the other day? It's a little better. If you, you sent him a diag of the screenshot and he ghosted me. Yeah, I, that doesn't surprise me. Um, so yeah, I actually left work early yesterday because my neck was just fucking horrible. Uh, it's pretty good today. If you could see the way I was fucking sleeping, it, it was like, think of like when you see cats like sleeping in knots and like, that looks like they're broken and they're sleeping. That's kind of how I was last night. Cause like I laid down on half the couch cause the other half was taken by spaz and poopy girl. So I pulled up the ottoman to like fill in a corner. So like my chest was on the couch. One leg was on the ottoman. The other leg was over a table and onto a chair, like a big poofy chair that's across there. Like, and I was just sprawled out with a cushion and a blanket under my neck. And I just kind of passed out like that. And I woke up like five hours later, like, that's yeah, not too bad. Like, it was somehow strangely, weirdly comfortable. Um, pished and pissed. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's actually, uh, it's not too bad today. I mean, I've also been, you know, using a lot of cannabis to help, but I feel if I was, if it were a regular day, even with the, a slightly lower level of cannabis, I, I feel like it's, it's still doing a little better. <clears throat> but yeah, last yesterday when I got home, I just kind of kicked back for a little while with the hoodie on and an extra, like a little bit of blanket behind the neck, and it got really warm. And then I took a shower. Took a really hot shower and just started cracking stuff real slow and took some edibles and it worked itself out a little bit. And then sleeping like a cat just seemed to help too. So it is almost 8 o'clock. Oh yeah, I gotta go, uh, let me go warm up or get the, uh, get the mice Get the hot water and the mice thing going here. Uh, give me a couple minutes. Let me switch to cat cam though. Because they'll probably want to come see what's up. And then I'll go get that, fill it up, and I'll just bring it in here and we'll let it warm up for a little bit. And then we'll feed or he may at some point, you know, probably 20-ish minutes maybe. But yeah, let me go take care of that. Uh, I'll be right back. Should only take maybe two minutes. So one moment, please.
there. All right. Sorry about that. <clears throat> down at the door. Well, now it's down at the uh, boardwalk. That's what that song was. Down at the board. All right. Oh, good. I'm not late. Hey, what's up, Fama? I'm not late for the uh, gaggle of goofball toast here in a few minutes. There's Tiny Mama. And there she stands. He's just standing. All right. <clears throat> Down a Fraggle Rock. Burn it. Down a Fraggle Rock. Meow. We gotta have a, I have that whole uh, DVD collection, actually. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Fraggle Rock was pretty oh, banging. Oh man, we have let's see most topics covered. Yeah, I think we're good there. Hmm. Really is low. I don't, I don't get that. I mean, it's better. I mean, obviously, when I'm facing it, I don't know. We'll see what's up. Ah, Asmo finally made it to uh, hang out with Lori. Cool deal. Good deal. A party in Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's do a pre goofball toast to uh, Asmo and Lori getting to hang out. Like you see them both in chat and Discord. So uh, a cheers to uh, homies hooking up, as it were. Cheers. Just me, a month short. I'm so upset. I can't deal with it. Oh, that's all right. You may, I think, I feel like you'll probably be in like a week, maybe, maybe next week. <clears throat> you'll have the purple with the uh, silver police sunglasses. Or mauve, I think Phil uh, in the kitchen was saying earlier. Mauve. Burp. <clears throat> so is the uh, internet better there for asthma? where she was staying did not have very um very optimized connection speed shall we say that was an iron brew toast there said top smoke yeah maybe if i start drinking uh drinking alcohol again i'll see if i can get a hold of one of them i think we can get them over here like i think they're over here somewhere <clears throat> Yeah, I guess obviously I'm, I assume y'all be on Discord later. I'll figure out which server you're hanging out on. Sitting on a couch and waiting for the laptop to say hello. I mean, like, she's like, is the laptop gonna be like, hello? And like, what? Then you like have a conversation, or, or how's that? How's that work out? Ah, oh, there we go. <clears throat> Did your laptop say hello? Maybe one ever used ha Haiku or BIOS, BOS. Not sure what that is, Mike Canley, besides all well, like Haiku being what, 575? Hey, 8 p.m. Goofball toast. Let me grab a different vape. Uh, toast to the gaggle of goofballs, all the members. Appreciate everybody that has joined and helped support the channel. Appreciate the subscriptions and everyone and is just watching and hitting a like and clicking buttons and doing everything and hanging out and watching Legos. And... Word. Cheers, everybody. Appreciate you.
Like, this is starting to be like I'm like a really regular daily thing. It's quite fascinating for me. BOS is an obsolete operating system. I feel like, was it ever B lowercase e OS or was that a different operating system? So I feel like I've seen that as B lowercase e, uppercase O, uppercase S, but that might be something different. I typed iron brew in my phone and it changed it to urn brew. Oh, that's. I can't imagine what they'd recommend you mix that with. Ugh. Find a fresh urn. Take said powdered contents, a tasty treat, full of protein. <laughs> Yummy. Anyone who used an ATM in the 90s used OS2. Ooh, yeah. Chicken OS never took off. Ha <laughs> ha. Very good meme, Jeff. Very good. Franco is off to bed. Sleep well, my homie, and you are welcome. Be groovy, have a groovy Sunday, and, you know, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, you know, all the other ones, obviously. <coughs> now, and if you didn't see it, there's the mics that are warming up. I'll flip them over here in a couple of minutes. Whoa, that whole, whoa, holy shit, just me. Uh, uh, I thank you very much for a uh, fucking hundred uh, pound donation. Damn. Very much appreciated. Like, it's, we, we're good. That's cool. But I, I thank you very much. Wow. <clears throat> you just wanted to? I much appreciated that that will it will go towards good i assure you <clears throat> wow that's uh that's pretty crazy well may not like bad i mean like bad crazy you know but that's good crazy thank you thank you very much <laughs> holy shit <laughs> moral lego man we have we have a, a pretty good amount of lego projects to go like we're not doing the phone booth next that's like, I cannot do another million piece thing just yet, but yeah, like with a hundred, what was that, 126 or whatever, like a hundred pounds, like we, we can, there's a lot of good Lego sets we can get with that, plus the rest we have. Um, like we, we are, we are a, a, a well-funded channel by our members, uh, and it's always appreciated, whether it's fucking a dollar or a hundred pounds or whatever even if you just get a free membership and watch some videos like whatever you do is always very appreciated by everyone by myself obviously and everyone else on the channel so thank you very much everyone <clears throat> and of course just me as that's incredible thank you uh toast to just me we'll do a double toast thank you uh, a toast and good night franco <laughs> Toast to Franco, actually, Franco actually has a little badge on my channel as, like, the most, one of the most, like, active commenter, like, interactive guys. So, yeah, Toast to Franco and just me. Cheers. That's an incredible donation there, uh, David Garcia. That's, 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 that's cool. I want the Taj Mahal in Lake. I, I am pretty sure they probably have that. Um, well, let's let's see. Is that? Yeah, that is actually how you spell it too. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that exists. Asmo, does that exist? I feel like Asmo might know. Taj Mahal Lego. 
Uh, that exists, and it's... There's a couple of them. There's... Actually, there's... Stuart, clearly. Thank you for 20 euros. Again, thank you for it. Because you're... Cool. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, appreciate it. I'm just dumb. Stole my thing. You know what? I just... I appreciate everybody hanging out. That's all, that's all it is, you know? Just We just... We we're just having fun. Just a bunch of positive, goofy, weirdo, nerdy, geeky goofballs and everybody, you know what I mean? But much appreciated to everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, actually, there's a bunch of Taj Mahals. Um, we can keep that on the list. They can keep that on the list. The Actually, the official Lego one's only 120 bucks. Um, how many pieces is that? Taj Mahal 21056-2002 pieces, <laughs> ages 18 plus, uh, available now. <clears throat> um, like, would, would, uh, would we, as we do, as we do, we vote. So, let's, let's do a vote. Shall we learn how to use a keyboard? Okay. Shall we go go ahead? Uh, you're joking? Oh, come on! You never know. Like, do, do we want a Taj Mahal or do we want to? We we want to see if we can get something bigger and better. How about that? I'll just I'll just let the the replies go. But hey, you never know. Like, they got it. Are you cold, scruff dog? Uh, am I cold, scruff dog? No, I'm pretty good. There you go. Oh, Or wait, what am I doing? Oh no. Oh, 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 never mind. Oh, gee, everything's fine. What would you would you like us to order a particular Lego? Just me. <clears throat> just me says save up for something bigger. Well, we will save up for something bigger. I I am, and it did seem like. Some people might appreciate it, but I am still kind of looking at that Avengers Tower. It's pretty expensive, but I think we actually have enough money to get it now. But <clears throat> the Avengers Tower, I think it's like three feet tall. Like, I seriously dig the Marvel movies. It seems like a lot of nerds and geeks do, so that may be a possibility as well once we, uh... Yeah, oh, yeah, the Space Shuttle would be a good one. Like, we'll vote on the next super huge one, um... Because right now, uh, I think we got two thousand, a couple two thousand piece ones, uh, and then a bunch of like smaller ones, which we'll do. We'll probably something Rick and Morty. We may end up doing the Butterbot. I think that's what we voted for. <clears throat> Rifle man, you certainly have captured the spirit of Big Clive Live with a most American overkill way. So great job. Is this is this a East Coast versus West Coast thing there, uh, Rifle Man? Like apparently, me and Rifle Man got some kind of East Coast West Coast beef that we're uh, that, that we're going where we're going for. Uh, that's um, I wasn't necessarily trying. Like I'm not trying to necessarily copy Big Clive. Just give a different point of view that would also be valued by. Well, actually, not that much of a different point of view, but, you know, a slightly different thing that the same people would enjoy. It seems to be working out. Uh, I appreciate everything, obviously. How about a smaller Lego piano? We can, like, make that mental note piano, man, which would be a good call. If you want, see what you can find. Like, maybe look around, like, search for, you know, piano Lego and piano building blocks. <clears throat> And then when it's time, like, that would be awesome. Like, we could definitely do a piano, um, especially as, you know, you are the piano man with, with pussies and pianos. Make the East Coast sign. What, isn't that, uh, isn't that this? Woo -woo. I don't, I don't even know. Pretty sure it's that. There are two amazing Lego piano pianos one of them actually plays as well well that would probably be the one we would get 
the one that plays, as we like our lights and our bells and our whistles and our noises. Meme Jeff, just double checking, is that your address at box 7821? Yeah, uh, 444 Maryland Avenue, P.O. Box 7821, Essex, Maryland, 21221. Well, Scruff Dog Live, then an address. <clears throat> yes, that is the uh, Scruff Dog Live address. And if you mail something, I prefer you let me know because the post office sucks and I may or may not get an actual notification when it arrives. So email me at show at scruffdog.live <clears throat> or email pianoman at scruffdog.live for Rob. You think the big piano is quite expensive? Well, I guess we'll take a look when it's time. We'll send the tracking, says Jeff. Appreciate that, because they've already lost a couple things this year, and both times they told me to pound it up my ass. So uh, the more notice I have, the more we can try to work that out. It's 500 bucks US for the bigger piano. How many pieces is that, Asmo or Rob? Considering considering this right here was 462 bucks plus a, uh, was there shipping on that one? Yeah, I think that one had shipping on it. One of them did and one of them didn't, but yeah. And I think the Avengers Tower is like 750 <clears throat> which is a, pretty much exactly what we have in the current uh, channel bank account. About seven, we have like 748 bucks um, for stuff, but we have a lot of stuff, so we don't need stuff just yet. Hong Kong Fooey is now officially downloaded. I feel like I have Hong Kong Fooey. Let me look here. That would be a good show to have if I don't already have it. Hey Vern, it's Ernest. Home movies, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, I Love Lucy, Ideal, In Living Color, The Incredible Hulk, Inside Number 9, Inspector Gadget, It's Christmas Time Again, Charlie Brown. I do not have Hong Kong Fooey cartoons. How the fuck is that? Okay, I'll have to remember that. Let me write that down. I remember Hong Kong Fooey. I don't even know if that's what you're talking about or if it's some other thing, but no, I want to watch that cartoon. <laughs> I remember seeing someone took a snapshot of the sender saying, prove that the package didn't arrive, and he sent a picture of his open door and an empty hand to him. <laughs> I love that. I love. We'll get that shit at work. Well, can you send a picture of it? I'm like, um, it clearly says in my write-up it was missing. Would you like me to send you a picture of, like, an empty cup or something here? <laughs> oh, I love that shit. Oh, I'm not going to do a Lego. T like, I'm not enough into, like, Titanic to want to do that. And especially, like, I know they got one that would probably barely fit in the office. We do know, actually, some of us here know someone who did actually do the Lego Titanic. They did the 10,000-piece one. Apparently, they had a great time doing it. <clears throat> if that's the one you're talking about, Deltic, it's got about 10,000 pieces. I'm going to have to go reboot that camera outside after the show. Refill the uh, food. Because I'm sure they've all gone through their first round. What about the Concord? I've looked at the Concord. I'm, I'm thinking about the Concord maybe at some point. Like on the list. Like that would be kind of cool hanging next to that monster. Um, but yeah, I've thought about the Concord. Um, I haven't looked into the different ones yet to see which one I would do. But generally speaking, if Lego has an official build of it, I usually try to go for that because then we just we know it works. Because, like, we're having some mild issues with the B-2 bomber here. But nothing that we can't sort out. 
as it were. <clears throat> you may not like the Titanic, but would you want to build the Titanic? Well, not the real one. Well, the only way I'd get the Titanic is if we somehow cobbled together a Lego Titan that I could take apart and just put next to it. Then I may consider it, but it would have to be in scale with whatever the Titanic we have. That's the only way I would consider it, is if somehow we found a Lego Titan that we could, that were a very close, you know, fabrication of the Titan that I could break apart and put at the bottom. <clears throat> Meme Jeff. Sorry to hear that. Wait. You may not like the, do you want to build the Titan, Titan Dick, oh, the Titan Dick, no. Watch the uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force Dick episode uh, Friday. Yeah, last night. It's fucking funny as shit episode. Titan Dick. The Titanic with a giant. Yeah, a giant squid. That would be cool. Have it like grabbing it. And then like <clears throat> some like I could put some uh, like strawberry jelly next to the uh, the Titan pieces. What about a Lego model of the mini sub? Yeah, that's, when, that's the Titan. When I, yeah, that's what the, the Titan was. That's what I mean. Yeah, the mini sub that got uh, imploded. Yeah, but that's, we would have to have that with the Titanic. And I would probably go ahead and try to study some of the wreckage. And then once we're done building it, like take it apart and try to make the Titanic correctly broken. And then put the Titan like, you know. A thousand meters away from it, <clears throat> or so was it a hundred meters or something like that? Blackbird, I've saw, I've saw, I've seen some of the, a couple of the different blackbirds. Like I love aviation stuff. That's all I did when I was a kid. I built a lot of uh, airplane models and hung them from my ceiling. But yeah, that I, I like the blackbird. We'll have to see. If you if you got some ideas, like by all means, like if you see a particular one you like, you know, make a mental note of it, I guess. And then once we get through this thing, in uh, a couple months, we'll vote on. Uh, no, we'll get through this. We'll get through. Uh, then we'll start voting on the next big big project. <clears throat> a half size model of the Eiffel Tower. Ah. Uh, That might might not fit in here. I mean, obviously, I mean, I realize this is an American home, so the ceilings are. Well, actually, I don't know. It seems like a lot of UK places they got really tall ceilings, but I mean, I have like eight and a half foot ceilings. Uh, I mean, I guess if we bend it, we might be able to fit it in here. Uh, we could try that. Yeah, we just bend it a little bit. I think uh, that probably work. You know, if you bend it, if you spit on it and just bend it just right, you can pretty much get whatever you need to into wherever you uh, need to. Rob says, how about a Lego famous old U.S. car? I've been looking at different old Camaros. Um, like, I'm, I, I like classic cars, but it, it can't be a Ford. Like, I, uh... Have a... Uh, Ooh, there it is. Chevy Bowtie uh, tattooed over my heart, so I can't build a Ford. But, uh, nice Chevy boat. Hey, Spanx. Spanx. Spanx, Sparkville. Appreciate the subscription. Getting closer to 1160. The Eiffel Tower is 540, 550 pounds and 54 inches high. The actual Lego one. <clears throat> 50 for like four and a half feet that's pretty tall um but no actually i probably wouldn't put together a chevy impala that's all right c2s wants some lego boobies i i i don't know that there is a, an official uh or even unofficial set of lego boobies maybe some blue-footed boobies um that's a possibility. There could be some like natural uh, blue-footed boobies. Uh, I suppose if you can find some booby sets, we can get also get some of those in honor of Piano Man Rob <clears throat> and his booby outbursts. 
And there he goes. Red Dwarfer says Lego boobies would look like the first Laura Croft boobies. That's pretty accurate there, Red Dwarf. That is, and it's it's amazing how many youngsters back in the day were like, ooh, and they were just like, yeah, really, really Lego-esque boobies. <laughs> You could print them. Yeah. Print some Lego boobies. Do they make a Lego Hindenburg? We could do some interesting shit with a Woofler and the uh, Lego Hindenburg there, Lock Watcher. <clears throat> Lots of sets of boobies on Google. The natural boo blue boobies, yes. The natural blue footed boobies there, uh, Delta Engine. Meme Jeff, I saw some great tits in my balcony, held them once, surprisingly warm and soft. They were hungry for it too. Good birds. They are good birds. A Mark II Voxil Cavalier. I would actually, I'd probably be just fine with putting that together. Is that actually a thing? <clears throat> there, Top Smooth. I'm going to Google it. Yes, I am. Hey, uh, boo -boo. Click, 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 click. Paste. That's it. There's a Chevy Cavalier. I don't see one. <laughs> There's a car transporter. <laughs> they actually have a Chevy. That's like, what is. Oh, that's a, like a custom kit. Uh, I would have done a Cavalier. I used to work on a lot of Cavaliers back in the day. Oh, did I miss a 420? Well, let me take care of that. Toot toot 422 minutes late, but you know. This chite of chite. This chat about the titan sub is all over the place Aha! Boom, boom. very nice lock watcher i may have to use that one that's actually fucking brilliant love that <laughs> like, i'm sorry uh, i love where it's like titanic killing millionaires for for a hundred and some years and going love that shit uh There's an old school like Subaru WRX STI Rally Edition. I may do one of those. I've actually driven in one of those. I didn't get to drive it itself, but my buddy had like one of the official like rally like dealer, you know, from the dealer, but like the souped up extra dealer package bullshit, you know, factory souped up stuff. And I got to ride around on that for a while. Those are, I always liked them. I, I thought they were great because I do watch some uh, autocross stuff here and there. Not just like the TT stuff, <clears throat> which is kind of what got me into riding a motorcycle anyway. Which one of these days I'm going to buy something fresh because that CBR is a little spanked. But I may give that to a buddy just so he can fix it up and sell it. A small one. Only fools and horses. What is that? Only fools and horses is a favorite TV show of all time. It's a perfect opportunity to submit an idea I had for a long time. An actual. <laughs> it's got a key cat. <laughs> Did you ever get any votes? Ah, uh, you got 262, you need, what, 10,000 votes? Well, that is expired. Audi Quattro Old Rally Specs is Rob. That's your, uh, that your hot shit? A rally car? I've always liked Subaru, uh, WRX STIs. Seems like, uh, Subsonic Subaru gets a little frustrated by them, but, you know. 
that's also part of owning a, a, a boxer engine. Just know, like, you buy them knowing that there will be problems. Buy an EV, save the world. <clears throat> Says Stuart clearly. I gotta fix my truck first. I don't know. I'd love to uh, dabble in the world of electric motorcycles, too, just because... It's interesting in the world of, like, rednecks and hicks that are, like, all against the electric fucking car thing. But when they see, like, electric bikes zinging down the road, they're like, oh, they're actually, like, impressed. A lot of them are, which I find is just fucking stupid. <clears throat> There's a generic Lego blocks thing of a red dwarf. Hmm. I can look that up, too. That might be all right. Come on, Penn. <clears throat> I just heard somebody do something. Ah, Jeff gifted one to uh, Dalton Arnett. Thank you, Jeff. A very appreciated. Where did I see that? EV. Is she coiled? Oh, oh no, that's the that's no. Uh, she's looking around. Actually, let me flip the mics. Red Dwarf Lego. Alright, we'll give that a couple more minutes. Let me reboot this phone. Hopefully it'll function. Seems like the 5 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi in here is just getting... <clears throat> I don't know if it's... Um, getting clogged up by neighbors or something or if it's finally like the the fact that most of the, the the steel and like shit in the walls is grounded now is causing wi-fi issues <clears throat> but i find i have to switch 2.4 gigahertz a lot and then i don't have so many connection issues So we're going to switch to the 2.4 gigahertz network. We're going to turn off all the connect because that's annoying. One, five gigahertz. <coughs> then we'll reboot the phone. Anytime you're ready, hold on. Sorry, folks. Oop. Come on. Ah, come on, guy. Restart and restart. Okay. <clears throat> electric scooters make sense. I have a couple of electric scooters. I like riding them around. Like I'll ride them at the store. Take like 800 chains just to make sure they don't go away. But I, I mostly drive a, uh, a, a nine bot uh, ES4 <clears throat> that I put together from many, many pieces. Acquired over like a span of like six months from a, a buddy that was one of the bird mechanic things. Did you watch Undergrads? I watched some of that at one point, but not really much that I remember. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I do remember watching some of it at some point. Yeah, if I'm, uh, my house is was built in 1952, so it's uh, lattice over plaster, and there's also expanded steel for the plaster to bond to uh, throughout the entire house. Like, the original part of the house is expanded steel walls, and it's all grounded. So, like, that's why I have four. Like, in my first floor is, with all the, you know, from wall to wall to wall to wall, is 26 feet wide and, what, 30 feet deep. Um, and I have four one router and three extenders to cover all the rooms because otherwise like you almost can't even get anything through the through the floors there's just so much metal in the house it's it's a living in a goddamn uh, faraday cage it just sucks because i've also realized like yeah you kind of should ground the metal because if something goes wrong then you know it'll like trigger trigger the fucking kick downstairs and all that shit, but 
<sighs> That's why I just picked up the. I told you about the big floppy drill bit I got. I forgot I didn't have a US or a USB a Cat six cable, so I ordered another one of them so I can plug the gaming computer into the switch downstairs. Whereas the studio computer, since it's the main broadcaster, is plugged directly into the main router. But the Wi-Fi here is still just like, ugh, on the gaming rig, even though the router it's connecting to is seven feet away from it, but through a wall. Ugh. Ugh. The Lego Motorized Lighthouse. Let's see. That'd be kind of cool. Lego... Two, one, three, three, five. Two thousand pieces. It's actually pretty cool. Got a little dude. He can like he got a coffee cup. That's all right. He got oh he he's making coffee on a stove. Look at that. There's a lady. There's an anchor. There's a preppy. Yeah, I could consider that. Yeah. Bring that up when it's time. Bring that up again. Bookmark that in your head. Because I'll be looking for stuff too, and then we'll narrow it down. We'll have another, like, freaking, like, March Madness, um, uh, you know, thing. <clears throat> Countdown match off with uh <sighs> oh my god i've got so much shit on my fucking brain right now with another poll like we did last time a little playoffs with a poll <sighs> <clears throat> Go through a speed camera and give it the bird. That would make me so happy to hear about. I would not be surprised if they sent that blurred out. That would just be funny as shit, though. <clears throat> mesh Wi-Fi is the solution. Yeah, this, me and my house, it's all mesh. It's uh, one um, uh, TP-Link uh, mesh, which works. Uh, when I first had it hooked up, it was kind of rare. <clears throat> but there's been a couple uh, firmware updates, and it's pretty solid now. I don't really have any problem with, like, moving through the house, generally speaking. But for some reason, I think this phone prefers to connect to the router downstairs, because that's what it connected to for, like, four years. Um, so I think it sometimes just forgets to connect up here, because it has, like, a preferred connection, even though I keep telling it to forget and try to force it to connect up here. But I find that switching it to 2.4 seems to help keep it from doing the jitter frickin' thing that it does. What about a Lego Tatra, Tatra 8x8 truck? I don't know, do they make that? I'll have to make Scruff Dog, <clears throat> make a Scruff Dog notebook. A Scruff Dog notebook? Are you taking notes? By all means, somebody's got to make sure. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta have like a couple like official or unofficial counters for the Lego pieces too. Focused boredom. I mean, I, I can't. Well, I, I shouldn't say focused boredom. Like it's not that it's necessarily boring. Per se to watch me put Legos together because it's calming, I guess. Seems to be the general consensus. Um, so I guess not boring, but then you have to be focused and calm if you're counting. I don't know. <clears throat> Do I like sour gummy candy? Yes, Jeff. I fucking love sour gummy candy. Like the sourer, the better. Like uh, airheads, like super, like airheads or. Uh, uh, what's the one where the, their head blows up? Whatever, like all of them. I like all of that fucking sour stuff. Like pure citric acid powder, like is pretty tasty on its own. Just a little bit. Like you gotta watch that. 
<clears throat> How come there's no more special smoky phone calls on stream? What you mean from this? Uh, there, Fama. Yeah, I've already gone through two rounds of this tonight. Like I, I can do more. Like I got about, we got about twenty-five-ish minutes before I uh, head out. I probably had it around the top of the hour. Seems to be pretty standard dish now oh, i don't have a browser yeah yeah i do browser paste the Le the lego exclusive set red buildable brick hmm. <clears throat> it's a lego brick that you 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 build a lego brick set uh, let me uh, copy that. This is what C2S proposed. If you can click on that, oh, that link, that's pretty cool. I would do that again. Keep that, keep that bookmarked in your head. I would definitely uh, build a Lego set of a Lego. That's pretty cool. That would be a good filler one as well, which will when 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 everyone has like their different ideas and wants like I'll probably do a thing where uh, I'll, I'll do a video and like refer everybody to leave their ideas and then we'll go through them and we can do main builds and like little builds and then we can do our little bracket countdown to pick the next big build and the next well the next actually we'll be picking the next little build to build. The next big build to build that we have here that's not the phone booth it's not that big yet and then we'll also be voting on which next small one to buy and which bigger one to buy and then at that point we'll probably be good for like no joke probably like a year and a half so like <clears throat> i guess i gotta watch because the more legos then the more i am committed to this channel um for uh, a period of time because like we have to do these on channel at this point because you all bought them for us so <clears throat> we got we got lots of time we got lots of time Boop. warheads that's a dare garbled user somebody else here okay yeah cinnamon fireball or the fireball cinnamon you mean the drink or like the candy because i drink fire i eat fireballs like the uh like the jawbreaker fireball ones i eat those like if you know what i'm talking about like the super hot fireball candies they're bright red i uh, usually came in like clear little packs uh, i ate them so much my when i was growing up like my parents would buy me the literally like the sealed display packs from stores so i could have an entire jug o uh, fireball spicy candies admiral rascals how do i connect and find a wi-fi password at scruff dogs uh i'm sure if you try hard enough um kali could probably find out for you uh otherwise you know there is a slight admission fee uh, contracts to sign uh, you got to be able to pet the cats and not have them want to chew on you <clears throat> otherwise then it's the end of the interview and you'll just be put in a freezer for food for them because if they're interested in chewing on you while you're alive then they'll definitely like to chew on you while while you're frozen so there is always that risk with that application process so i guess kind of keep that in mind i do have a big freezer um, and I have really good saws as well, just in case we gotta, you know, make things work. So, um, yeah, yeah. I was trying to do that. Scruff in space. That even seems wilder than usual. Jazzer size? Uh, probably not going to jazzer size with 
<clears throat> and yes, I feel like fireball jawbreakers were discontinued or something. A Lego Space Invader? That would be fun. That would be fun. Hot tamale candies are great. Hot tamale. Oh, those are like the Red Mike and Ikes. Oh, uh, those are good. Yeah, I'll eat the hot tamales. Do you have any extra bones? Um, no, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've probably got some, like, I mean, I, don't know. I, I mean, I think I still have some legs in the freezer, um, but not just like the bones. <clears throat> I guess, uh, you know, give me a couple days, go through some food supplies, and uh, I'll, I'll let you know they're uh, garbled. You got a big freezer and really good saws. What are you doing, or is that a threat, says Fama. Um, somebody wanted something. And cats eating people, and you know, just just in case the cats get hungry, it's good to have extra food in the freezer. Jazzer size, <clears throat> I remember Jazzer size. That was very colorful speed yoga, basically. What am I doing for dinner tonight? Uh, um, probably finish that cheesesteak sup. Maybe make some pasta later. Amazon Atomic Fireball Jawbreaker. Two pound bags for 20 Really? They do still have some. I wonder if they're the original one. Because they were the Atomic Fireballs. That is right there, Mr. Phil, 1969. Nothing from the freezer. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that. We'll leave that freezer closed. Ah, maybe I should make some cupcakes tonight. Suppose if I do that, I should take some edibles. Because if you're going to make cupcakes, you should be way too hungry to be making cupcakes and then eat, like, too many of them get like sugar sick and then just take more edibles <clears throat> and not care so much about it like is that a plan should should you know like yeah, let's find out <clears throat> let's start a poll should i get baked and bake yes no That's pretty much all we need to know. Deviled eggs with real devil. If you could get some real, every once in a while, you can catch a little devil. You can get them in them deviled eggs. I love deviled eggs. <clears throat> I make some pretty good deviled eggs, too. That crack sound is annoying. At least we know that that is the mixer. I gotta email them about that. <laughs> One, to say that, like, I'm pretty impressed that I've not done much with these, and they're too loud, which is good. Um... That seems to be doing well. Uh, ooh, uh. <clears throat> and I guess we'll feed her in just a moment. Yeah, let me get the uh, camera sorted out and hooked up. Uh, is that one? Yeah, where's the Lego camera? I know the Lego camera should work. Oh, wait, well, it'll work if I make, you know, start it. That'll probably help. 9-11 was an inside job, yes or no? Oh, it probably was. Let's see, Freud Cam, Mobius. Huh? Ooh, and it works, all right. Uh, is that working too? No? Uh, deactivate, refresh. Click, 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 
So we're just going to have to go with the Lego cam because I don't know why that's being weird, but that's fine. So there'll just be a picture of a stealth bomber while we're feeding the snake because that makes sense. Stealth bombers and corn snakes go together. Just like American pie and uh, gyros. <laughs> I want some detail for the bath. What is detail for the bathroom there, Rob? Pork shoulders with skin. Oh, in my freezer. Long pork, Sarah Fama. Detail. Detail. What is detail? What the fuck? Just like an American pie and an American snake. Psst. <clears throat> it's cleaner, but it has a lush smell, a disinfectant. Okay. Whoa, easy camera. Yeah, I don't think it's doing the skippity doo dah thing. Uh, kind of. Not really. Well, I guess we'll just kind of have to deal with it. Maybe it'll sort itself out as we just kind of let it sit here for a moment. Let me turn notifications off. Stop that. Turn notifications off. I'm trying to hear it. I ain't trying to hear it. Restart that. Let it sit there for a couple minutes. Some crap you can put in your bath, says Zap Sparky. All right. It's a biscuit brand, says Chippy. Ah, yeah, you and your biscuit heads. It would seem everyone thinks I should get baked and bake. I guess I will do that. I will eat my cheesesteak and then make some muffins and see where people are on Discord. <clears throat> and then go hang out on Discord while I make cupcakes from brownie mix. Or brownie mix. Now that would make sense. From pancake mix. I'm going to take, like, complete pancake mix, add an egg, add a little bit more oil, which is, I think, what the problem was when I made them before. They need just a little bit more oil added to them, not just water. I am going to sprinkle just a tiny little bit of cinnamon in the cupcake, like, in the paper cups, to see if that helps uh, to make them not stick so much. And cinnamon would be just fine with uh, dark chocolate cupcakes, because that actually goes pretty good together. All right, so it seems, yeah, everyone would like me to get baked and baked, so we will close that. <clears throat> oh, so I will head out of here in about 10 minutes. Bowden says, egg absorbs oil, so adding more makes sense. Does egg absorb oil? Is that why you scrambled eggs are always so slippery? Like, I have no idea. It's only commercial... C2S says, I saw a commercial for a Nutella biscuit. I feel like I've seen those. Like, I feel like they're at the store, maybe. Like, I know they have Nutella mini packs, which I would assume probably has some sort of Nutella biscuit thing in it. They do contain lecithin. What do contain lecithin? Because lecithin is good for. What, like, eggs can say less of them? Is that what you're saying there, meme, Jeff? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Like, that probably, like, less of them helps, like, pot do its thing a little bit. <clears throat> Try baking with some cannabis oil. I used to do that, uh, do certain extracts of that, but I'm not really interested in that anymore. Um, that takes a lot of pot, and I don't really feel like buying that much pot. At this point, I would have to buy probably like five or six hundred dollars worth of pot to get a good solid extract, like in a good processable quantity. 
which wasn't a big deal when I was growing a shitload of it. You know, uh, it, the cost kind of worked itself out, but at this point, I'm not really worried about getting cannabis oil. Um, but maybe at some point, or maybe it will just, some will come out that's pretty good and reasonably priced, but I've never really made a whole lot of cannabis-infused food. I usually just made the oil, and it was just ingested as was by others. Or other. Well, sometimes others, I believe. Easy, great cornbread. Standard Jiffy Mix recipe, but add an extra egg. <clears throat> what, like the standard blue, white, and yellow box uh, cornbread mix? Or, or Jiffy... Is that what you mean, Lockbox? Or like the Jiffy Cornbread? But with an extra egg? Yeah, I could see that. Uh, I could see that working with cornbread. Eggs cooked in lard. I usually cook my eggs. Like I'll cook. Uh, not, I got a new non-stick pan. I'll cook either my bacon or my sausage in it. <clears throat> Leave you know most of the grease and bits of meat in there, and then just slap my eggs right in there. You can buy 40 milliliter little bottles for 75 bucks here. 40 milliliter. Not bad. I mean, we can get like one gram tankers for like 50 bucks. I don't know. Let's see, that was a gram. Most of them are about 80, so that would be about 800 milligrams. A THC, so I'd have to eat like half a batch of whatever I made to really get something going, because you're going to get some burn off. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Have you ever made baked corn or corn pudding? This is Lock Watcher. I've never made corn pudding. I don't, it's like, I, I cut corn on the cob in foil and baked it, but I doubt that's what you mean by baked corn, so I'm, I'm probably going to have to say no on both of those. No oil on my scrambled eggs. I use an espresso machine to steam the eggs, says garbled user. I used to have a, uh, a thing that you would basically make Hot Pockets with. You'd get a piece of bread, you know, make a sandwich, piece of bread and uh, this it was basically a, a waffle maker with this other one that was just two triangles with a hard divider and you put them together and it would cut it in half and like kind of weld you know the seams together to give it kind of like hot pockety sandwich things what also worked really good to hold large eggs let it heat up cycle once open it up drop your eggs in make sure you spray the top half as well because as soon as you got to the right point, like I kind of figured out what point to do it, you'd unplug it and then do like a, a gravity flip and you'd flip the whole thing over. They would fall into the top, which was also heated, cook them, and then flip them back over and I could cook my eggs where the whites were cooked, but the, the yolks were still runny. Because that's kind of how I like my eggs. And I finally figured out a quick and easy way to do that since I didn't have access to a stove or a range top for fucking four years. That's how I got to make my eggs for a while. That shit worked pretty good. <clears throat> a panini press, is that what those are called? I know there's a word for them. I've just always called them the Hot Pocket things. But yeah, they, they made really good eggs. And it was funny because they were all triangle shaped. So you had these like perfect little triangle shaped eggs like just chilling on your plate. Uh, that was fine. And now that thing has just sat there for the, since fucking... June, because I don't need to use that fucking thing anymore, and that's the only plates I had left for it, so, but I may hold on to it, because it may be good for, um, like, out and about, since I have a, a 1500 watt, 1500 watt slash 3000 watt, you know, draw, you know, standard peak, whatever, inverter with battery backup, and hardwired to the, uh, the truck, uh, inverters also with the solar panel the 100 some watt solar panel hooked up to it that might be good for cooking on that as well you can make like a good grilled cheese out of it um 
I put pancake mix in it once and it kind of worked, but the outside of the pancakes got a little like not like I don't mind a crispy outside of a pancake. I guess that's close to uh crepes, crepes, however the hell you say that French word. Is that crepes? I like they're kind of, I guess some of them are kind of crispy because they're so thin. Um, they would get that, but it would get like almost hard before the insides would cook right. So that didn't quite work right. <clears throat> but the eggs worked fucking great once I got that sorted out. Cornbread made with roasted jalapenos and green chilies, a small can of corn and bacon. I don't need to have anything else. It's kind of a casserole. I've actually had that, almost that exact same recipe, and it is goddamn delicious, Rifle Man. Absolutely. Anything with green chilies, jalapenos, and bacon, like just whatever else you want to put in there, it will be consumed. Because there's just some magic ingredients right there. <clears throat> Had a PWM SCR to attempt. Yeah, I, I didn't care. <laughs> like, I'm not super big on pancakes anyway. It was just something I was trying to alternately do. Um, but at this point, I'm pretty pancaked out from life in general. So, general, so I buy the only real pancakes I like are chocolate chip pancakes, and then I just put a shitload of butter on them and I no syrup. So, basically, I'm just making flat chocolate chip muffins anyway so i might as well just buy the same shit and just make actual muffins <laughs> but like i'm not big on uh maple syrup anymore like i don't do a lot of sugar like in a coffee cup this size which is a 20 ounce cup um like it's literally probably like 30 granular grand granules of sugar in there like it's just the the faintest breath of sugar i've had the same sugar thing for like three years like the small 12 ounce sugar thing like i've had it for like three years because it just doesn't run out so eating maple syrup is like <clears throat> it's just too much like it, it almost pushes me around and crashes me like fucking riddling or something and it, it's just too fucking sweet so i just uh, I just make flat chocolate chip muffins and, and move on with life, I guess, as it were. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we gotta feed the snake shit. Let's do that, and then I'll get ready to go. All right. Snakey, snakey time. Come on. Now I'm going to feed the snake some mousey. Not that mouse. Different mouse. Uh, find a place for it. out here. I don't know where my little tripod is. Work. Just put the skull on top of it. All right, time to feed. Like if you're, does that snake eat blueberries to round off the diet when you try to turn it vegan? Uh, 
Sorry, I was once forced to go vegan, and I would never do that to anyone I actually liked. Because that is, sorry, in my opinion, that is some bullshit. But anyway, no. She will not be eating blueberries. She will be having mousy wowsies. So if you're adverse to seeing things get eaten, then I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, we're going to go feed her. Uh, and then we'll hang out for another minute, and then I will go feed myself. Uh, let's see, Lego cam, and don't mind the stealth bomber, it's not trying to bomb her. <laughs> it's just I'm using my Lego, uh, template. So, oh, look, there's a fresh poop. Uh, alright, let me feed her away from that. Totally AI generated. Yeah, she first popped her head out on Wednesday. Um, and then my alert to Peter showed up on Thursday. So that was timed out pretty good. And I figured I would feed her this evening. But she's, she can, she's got a pretty good sense of smell. I think she's pretty sure she can smell when the mice are heating up. Need some old bay or reset. A little to your left. A little to the left. That, that. There you go. Do you shake it to entice her? And I'm speaking about the mouse. Yes, Fama. That just like simulates. Or a living mouse. Even though the other one is just sitting on the log. Um, she's, like, I guess, I don't, I guess figured out by now that the second mouse is always sitting on the log. Then she eats it later. Oh, let me uh, adjust the camera here. Sad that the old bay goldfish for a limited time off. It really is. It really is. They were fucking delicious. I live in the place where they're made and I couldn't even find them locally. I think because they just sold out too quick. But yeah, that's the best I can do with the camera right now because of where the shelf is. And I don't want to be too much over her head and bother her. Because then she might regurgitate. 
is really bad for a senior snake to bark. It really fucks their ribs up. Oh, yeah, if only we could eat the political morons like this. Just walk up and be like, you know what? I think you're an asshole. <laughs> I think we'd have a lot more honest politicians if they knew they could get eaten at any point. Are the mouse guts coming out its asshole? No, that word is balls. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, I actually generally have uh, goldfish extra cheddars in the house. In the house? That and cheese at burnt. Uh, there are extra toasty ones, the burnt ones. Doritos, uh, ruffles, because they have ridges, motherfucker. Uh, chocolate brownie, cliff bars. <laughs> you can tell I'm hungry. Now she gets to smoke her cigar. Help her out and baby bird feed it for her. Yes. Hey, if you, C2S, if you would like to come over and demonstrate that for me, we could probably work something out. But just realize if you leave, you'll probably be high. It kind of happens here. You should try frying that word cheese. It's a crisp, chewy, amazing experience. I've seen that word. I don't know where I've seen that word before. I will uh, investigate that. Help. And the other mouse is just to her, well, down. Have to clean that poop up. I ain't doing that on stream. I'll wait till the stream's over. But I should put the lid on out there and I should go in for the other mouse. Uh, yes, she's biting its butt. And leave her to figure that one out. <laughs> I'll check back here uh, shortly and uh, see how she's doing. But she always she bites the wrong end a lot, and but she always figures it out. See her back there wrestling with it. She does bite the butt a lot, which is kind of funny. Newish Dorito out here, extra flaming hot. Uh, I think we've had those for a little while. Uh, those are pretty good. I like the anything spicy Doritos are good. Yeah, if you get her time just right within the first few days of her first coming out, then she'll be like actively hungry. Uh, if something happens and you wait more than like five or six days, her hunger will kind of calm down. And, like, she has to sniff it for a little bit like, to, like, kind of reinvigorate it. So you just kind of catch her at the right time, and she will absolutely go for it. 
even if it's butt first, which she still is wrestling with its butt. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's fine. If she wants to eat ass, I guess what she's into, by all means, see to us. Let, let her eat ass. Because she does quite a lot, actually. Oh, all right. Let's see. I guess we'll go ahead. I'll have to get out of here in a couple of minutes. Okay. Oh, I think she's actually getting that thing. Yeah, she's eating it ass first. Okay. I mean, it won't be the first time she ate it ass first, but no, she's, she's doing it. <laughs> all right. Let me, uh, get a fresh tea. We'll do a final couple toasts here. Ooh. I guess cheers, uh, our first toast will be cheers to, uh, eating ass. Cheers to Orihime for, uh, for eating ass. Cheers. Chow down. <laughs> She's eating that ass like a pro. All right. <laughs> That means she'll be hanging out. Can I get far enough down? Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. But she'll, she'll be hanging out over here for the next four or five days. That's the warm cave. <clears throat> and my final 420. I got a I'm a little hungry, otherwise I'd stay the last eight minutes, but we're going to go with just, like, another moment or two. Uh, cheers to everybody for hanging out. And to boobies. Yeah, boobies are fine. Boobies are good. I appreciate everyone chilling with me tonight and chilling with us and hanging out. And all the donations, contrib contributions, uh, very much appreciate. Especially, like, that's been incredible just me. Again, thank you if you're still here, probably. Um, but yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be hopping on to Discord here shortly. I'll figure out where Lori and Asmo are. And, uh, I'll be over there on Discord probably within, like, five, ten minutes. Oh, James Randolph just got here. Yep, hello all. Ah, uh, I don't even have enough woofle juice to give you a woofle. Like, you, you want to see a lighter? That's that's the best I can do for you right now. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody. I am going to... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, cheers. All that again. Sorry, I should actually hit it. I just saw James. Whoopsie. It was too nice to sit inside. Oh, yeah. No, that's... that's I have a, a real fire going outside. Perfect. Now, hopefully... I'm, I'm kind of hoping this month, <clears throat> maybe in May if we have to, depending on scheduling. Uh, but I would like to do a Saturday night uh, out by the barrel. I have a 55-gallon barrel that I burn and cook on. Um, I would like to do an outside stream where we would start here, and then we'll switch out to over there. Um, I may have to talk to Ed and econ and maybe they can hang out as well on that night or anyone else or whatever um have a little cookout during the uh during the stream you know like i said starting here and then we'll shift out to there something like that I, I, that's what i would like to do that's my goal anyway so we'll see how that works out hopefully it will work out well but I guess we will uh, see what happens. I'll let you know. Keep you posted. And again, 4.20 uh, in two weeks. Me and Clive will be uh, doing the show together and getting fucked up. So, by all means, join us. So, until this Wednesday for LEGO B2 Bomber, I will see everyone later. Be groovy to each other. Have a good weekend. And... 
Thank you for hanging out. So I am out of here in five, four, three, two, one. See ya.